Hey, how the hell are you? This is Ron from Barrel Age Flicks. It would really do us a great favor if you hit that subscribe button at the bottom and also press like on our video. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, we're about to record right now. Here we go. One, here. two, three. <laughs> now, off. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the fu Barrel Age Flicks live from the 1781 Brewery. Yeah, yeah in, the fu oven. in the fu gates of hell with this fu heat out here. It's not that bad. Okay. Son of a fu or is not. <laughs> Who wants a ZJ? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a cool that. Why is this bitch hot? It shouldn't be. Well, you got a, what, is that a neck that warmer? Ah, <laughs> you got the neck you warmer son on. son of a bitch. I didn't turn, no, it's not on. That was hot. Baby. All right, so we are at the 1781 Brewery, which is actually it's located your beard. at 1109, <laughs> 1109 Plank Road, Spotsylvania, Virginia, 22553. 11109. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Oh. We also have a great taco Iron. place. We got yeah. Mart. Martinez Cantina. There you go, Martinez Cantina. I, I, I'm oh, not gonna say you. it right. I told you. I, I, I told you I wouldn't Thank say you. it right. They are fucking delicious. Oh, are they really good, huh? Those fucking tacos. Amazing. They're great. Yes. Listen, anytime you have a taco truck, the tacos are banging. And it's right, right next door to us too. So, oh, I felt that nice breeze. So we have we have Matt from the 1781 Brewery actually, who's gonna tell us about the brewery and also tell us about the Wilderness Porter that we're gonna be drinking today. Yeah. So what today. are we drinking, man? Yeah, yeah. So to kind of start it off, you know, we're, like you said, we're located in Spotsylvania, Virginia. Um, we actually have been around for about six years now. So June was our six year celebration. Nice. Yes. Um, wow. We have, you know, any, we got a running farm going. We got an equestrian center out here where you can do trail rides, lessons. That was going to be my next question. Awesome, cool, cool shit out here. Um, we're not just a brewery, we also have a winery on the backside. But and we, some banging uh, cigars. We're, oh, we're, yeah. we're, we're caring mainly about the uh, beer in this. Yes. That's for sure. Yes, That's for yes, sure. of course. <laughs> and Amazing we also selection. are the location where Stonewall Jackson had his arm amputated. No shit. Really? Yeah, I had I no idea. Oh, yeah. Historical nice. facts oh, right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. So There's a side back there you can read the whole history of it. It's fucking beautiful. That is fucking awesome. We, uh, I didn't even know that. Just had a it, it was amputated here, and then he was transported to a recovery house a while a, a yep, ways away, and that's where uh, he got fucking shot. And yeah. he's, uh, he died in pneumonia. And he's buried a uh, little no, bit no, further that's right. south. He shot somebody that came in, in yeah. and he's then he died buried in Caroline. Caroline, you said? Caroline County, yeah. Oh, okay. A little bit closer cool. to Caroline County. So I had no idea south. that it was over here. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. fucking awesome. Yeah. So uh, what do you think about this brewery? Yeah, tell us about it. Oh, man, these uh, past three years have just been incredible. I can't thank everybody out here enough for the memories that it's created every single day. Um, we are a seven-day-a-week brewery, so a lot of places are just only open for, you know, the weekends yeah. or a little bit later in the week for your happy hours, you know, Thursday, Thursdays and stuff. We rock it seven days a week, um, 365 a year pretty much, Fuck except yeah. for, you know, the major holidays. Yeah. Because everybody's got to have that family yep. time. Um, you know, I I don't know. I don't this is this place is just <laughs> incredible. It's a different vibe that you that you find. Most breweries are located in industrial parks now. They're all in old warehouses, yep. but we have a full running farm that has 165 acres of just nothing but views. Oh, nice! Right. Yeah, they got some yeah. horses uh, uh, roaming by around us here. We got yeah, and Stu and I did a little walk around. We saw uh, like a band platform. You guys do live music and stuff too. Live music every Saturday and Sunday, first Fridays awesome. of the month. Awesome. And we also do a uh, Wednesday acoustic night. Yeah. Um, so we got some great bands all local for the most part um we got some guys come in from out of state you know we do reggae fest every year which is banging banging right. yeah you, you guys had a color fest oh the holy color, yeah, color you, party yeah, yeah no last I, weekend the holy yeah, fest yeah, yeah. yeah. and ragnar came to our house oh, yeah. and they were like colored in like chalk like chalk colors all that over was them. so we we showed up here because we were at another place yeah and we came here and uh didn't know that it was their color fest and shit and you have all these people just throwing fucking color powder on everybody. Yeah. And that one there was actually really fucking cool. It was cool to fucking watch. Oh, yeah. And then, like, they just started coming up giving everybody fucking bags of color uh, powder. Yeah, it just awesome. shit. To that's, throw that on everybody. Like it was a blast. Yeah. Just it was, to throw yeah, on everybody. Yeah, it was pretty huh? incredible. Yeah. Yeah, it was cool pretty thing incredible. was is that, like, nobody got pissed if you had fucking powder thrown on you out of nowhere. <laughs> Just yeah. laugh. Yeah. 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 You showed up, man. That's what you sign up for. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Yeah. yeah. Unbeknownst yeah. to you. Yeah. You walked Surprise. in, you saw the sign, you're you're rolling with it at that yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. 
We yeah, rolled I mean, out with color on our shoes. Yeah. God damn. Even in the brewery, we were like, holy <laughs> fuck, yeah. man. Yeah, Ragnar and I came over here to check this place out, and we fucking love the place, the views and everything. I mean, it's all just farmland and all that, horses. I mean, it's just great places to walk through. The brewery is very nice. The bar. I mean, everything about this place. The cigar lounge, of course. Oh, I've never yeah. seen a brewery with a cigar lounge. I mean, yeah. that's actually pretty fucking cool. That's got a nice little outdoor seating area. And yeah. then, uh, was it a, a ac upper lounge the with silo. a poker, pay, uh, so the poker silo, table and all the that? the silo is actually... Um, um, repurposed from a uh, old grain silo around the area. No uh, shit. So, nice. You know, uh, COVID really kind of shut down a lot of the farms in the area. Yeah. A lot of land was sold off for commercial real estate and whatnot. Oh, yeah. um, and we uh, we uh, definitely capitalized on that by doing a lot of uh, repurposed silo That's pavilions. Go, Smart, or, yeah. um, the bottom part is actually a full walk-in humidor. Yep. So yeah. you're not just walking in and you got that one little box that has 10 no, It's a cigars. pretty nice selection, too, for, for a small floor space. I was, impl- I was impressed. It's a fucking shot. Yeah, yeah, before the show, yeah, we actually went in there and yeah. we all bought each other a cigar and everything else. So it's... It's fucking nice. That's really man. sweet of you guys. Yeah, it's a nice fucking place, man. I'm, I'm actually glad. That... I'm glad you guys love each other that much. <laughs> oh, yeah. Maybe I'm too much. Yeah, I'm uh, currently uh, smoking on the San Cristobal uh, Revelation right now. That's pretty good. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. So tell us about the beer we're going to be drinking. Yeah, man. So it's our uh, wilderness porter, so it's going to be an English-style porter. Um, it's really, it's a darker beer. But it's really light on the palate. Yeah. Really light for a porter. Um, sits around 5.8% ABV. You have some chocolate, a little bit of coffee note. Uh, and it is, hands down, my favorite on tap, man. Yeah, oh, I can yeah. drink that damn thing year-round. Awesome. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, All so right. I'm glad you guys are uh, crushing it on this hottest day of so the Hell yeah. All Let's right. Check this out. Right. Cheers, Cheers, everybody. Gross. 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 Oh, that's fucking good. Oh, yeah, that's that's oh, lovely. That's fucking You're right. Great. It is very light, but it has serious coffee and chocolate notes. Yeah, yeah. that's really lovely. The yeah. flavor behind it is it's fantastic. It's bang, it's yeah. very full but not heavy. And you I don't remember get, you don't get that a lot. Usually, no. For a porter, this is fucking yeah. light. Yeah. Shit. Usually, yeah. anything with this fla- flavor, it's you're just feeling miserable after a full one. Yeah, and you, so you, you were saying good. that like this is better than Guinness because yeah. it doesn't have that burnt coffee taste that you always yeah. complain I that it has. I fucking hate Guinness. I fucking hate Guinness. <laughs> All right, I was mentally prepared. I'm like, I probably won't like this, but I'm still gonna absolutely suck the dick. <laughs> <laughs> and give it a fucking uh, thing. I'm glad I don't have to. This is a really good fucking beer. Yes. This is a really good fucking beer. It is very, very surprisingly light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the flavor profile, straight on point like you were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, um, that's fantastic. Yeah, I am. I am and, and what is this called again? That's our uh, Wilderness Port. Wilderness yeah. Port. All right. Yeah. So, compare, uh, if you compare this one to their uh, Fimbleventer. Yeah. Right? This one here is, it's a port, both porters. Yeah. But this one here is about three quarters lighter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it really is. Because I tried I tried some of your Fimble Venter. Yeah. The, uh, was it last show we did? I think so, yeah. And yeah. That, I really enjoyed that, but it is very heavy yeah. compared to yeah, this. Yeah, it is. So you know, I, this, I like this, this more, a lot. This is more mild, and this is a uh, very easy tasting. I mean, th- th- you can have this anytime, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't say this is more of like a summer beer where you can drink out like out in the sun all day or something like that. No. But this is something that you can actually enjoy in a nice, like having a cigar, like in a cigar lounge or something yeah, like that, yeah, or 100%. sitting inside of a bar. This 100%. is a very good fucking beer. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this. And Crystal just reminded me, you guys are not just beer and a little bit of wine here. She just showed me a, a raspberry wine slushy that she got from you guys. Oh, yeah. I the just tried that. That's delicious, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Okay. Yeah. Looks perfect for Shark Week, so. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're always running... Like, uh, we actually just got some new uh, slushy machines yesterday, so we are running nice. three different flavors. No shit. Sure. Baller, now, man. man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go ahead and give our reviews. Two. All right. Yeah. Two. It's two thumbs up, bro. Two. 100%. Yeah. 100%. Two thumbs up. All right. Two thumbs here to finish up. Yeah. This yeah. is, I normally don't drink porters, but this is so light. Everything, you know, Matt said is fucking spot on. Yes. Definitely must try here. Chase? No, two thumbs up, 100%, just like we were saying, it's a very light, especially for a porter, but it again, it's got that full flavor that you're expecting from a, from a porter, but not that heavy feel. You're not going to feel miserable after you kill a whole yeah. glass of this. Yes. And then just be like, oh, I don't want to move. You know, th- this is great for summer if you just want that chocolatey porter taste. Yep. Yes. I, I highly recommend. Yeah, two thumbs up all the way. This is fucking great. I'm actually very impressed with this beer. I've had it a couple times now, and I've it, it, it fucking enjoyed this shit. And the mild taste and everything else. I don't understand the whole thing about Guinness burnt coffee taste because to me Guinness doesn't taste like that. But this is right there. Like this is perfect, close to Guinness. T- what the fuck is she doing? What the fuck was what that? The fuck was that? <laughs> she shoved a straw in her armpit. <laughs> <laughs> 
fucking random. Fuck? But no, seriously, 1781 Brewery, you knocked it out of the park with this beer. This is a fucking amazing beer. Thank you for so much for letting us try it out. But you guys need to come out here and check this beer out and yes. buy their beer. Seriously, yeah. give them their the place out. This shit's beer good. that I don't like from them yet. Yep. Yeah. I, I, and I am trying. We, we, we have a wide trying. selection on the table <laughs> yeah. right now. Yeah. So we we're going to be trying all their beers. So. The tap list is literally across their table right now. <laughs> yeah, In the literally. form of poured beers. Yep. Yes, yes. So that well, is a... We don't fuck around, all yeah. right? We, we're we, goddamn we, fat. <laughs> <laughs> we take this podcast very seriously. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yes. That's why we actually sound good instead of, you know, like recording Dookie. on an iPhone. <laughs> I think our sound quality is pretty decent, yeah. actually. I'm not going to lie. I'll tell you what, though. I'm pretty fucking sure these flies are going to be shit-faced by the time we're done. <laughs> Which one's Jeff Goldblum? <laughs> <laughs> that one right there. No, oh, it doesn't man. have a white head. No, no, that was the other guy. <laughs> no, that's, that was the original. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is the end of our review. Uh, like, seriously, that was an amazing beard. Thank you so much for letting us try it. We love being here at 1781. But seriously, guys, check this brewery out. Come yes. out here. Worth the fucking uh, travel, out. seriously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, come out. Try their beer. If you don't like beer, try their wines and their, their slushies. They're, yeah. they're banging. Awesome food trucks hanging out here. Uh, like he said, you, every Saturday they got live music. Treat yourself. This is a great experience. And Again, with their equestrian center over here, you can go on rides and all that. Just bring the whole family. This is a, a pretty it's baller place, It's very man. homely. It oh, really yeah. is. Oh, yeah. It's very, it has a very homey. good home. Homely. Homely is ugly. Ho you said homey. Homely is ugly. Homey is very, you know, home-esque. Homey G. Slice Punk Funk Michael. I told you earlier, not the fucking dictionary around here. <laughs> but he, All right. Words oh, carry meaning, right sir. I don't care. Right. So, yeah, so, so people complain about the drive. Fine, fine, very, very homey. Yes. Yes. Very homey. Homely. Is that better? Yes. Homey. Yeah, fucking dick. <laughs> so, yeah, so if people, if people complain about the drive, I drove from West Virginia. This is one of my favorite new bar or, uh, breweries. So <laughs> yeah, you even claim this was better than another brewery. Uh, brewery. <laughs> I won't say their name, just to go ahead, piss them say off. It. We, go ahead, we, say don't, it. we don't talk poorly no. about the competition. We don't need to do that. When you're good, you're good. Damn and they're good. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Well, we will be right back. We're going to take our break, so we will see you later. All right. All right. Here Welcome we go. to Beer Fest, bitches. Welcome to our <laughs> live recording at the 1781 Brewery for Beer Fest. We already just did our beer review. Uh, seriously, you need to check out the... Uh, Martinez, Martinez, Cantinas tacos. They are the fucking best. And Two brothers got some banging food too. I just tried their uh, their ahi tuna tacos. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, good. those are good. That oh, is yeah. so good. And also their uh, cigar lounge. I mean, this was we're just having a great time here yes. on this fucking Gates of Hell heat. Seriously, it's hotter than fucking hell. So out here. fucking hot. But we're fucking dedicated. So we are going to be doing the movie Beer Fest, which was released August twenty fifth, two thousand six, yes, directed by moist. Jay Chanda Sekar. Yeah. He directed it? Yeah. Yes. Really? I yeah. didn't know he directed it. He's directed most of oh, the yeah. movies. Landfill, direct, Landfill directed uh, Slam and Salmon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't know he directed it. Slam and what? And Quasi. Oh, you directed Quasi good? too? How did you pronounce that? Slam and what? Slam and Salmon. Okay. Yeah. He definitely said Salmon. Did I say Salmon? Slam and Salmon. All right. Well, I, I, like I corrected myself. I said it once, and I corrected myself. All right. So other movies that he... No, like, it's fine either way. It's more of a... Weird. Both, it's both the same. Are they yeah. saying both? Is it both names? They're both okay. Yeah, it depends on what the part of the region is. Right. And no, uh, most people in our area do, do pronounce it salmon. Yeah. All right, but in so different just, areas of the country, it's weird. That's all. salmon. Yeah. Depends on what region of the country yeah. you're in. Yeah. All right, so we are. The other movies that he has done is Super Troopers and Super Troopers 2. He's also done Club Dread, a favorite of mine. Yes. He's done Slam and Salmon. Mm -hmm. uh, he's done The Dukes of Hazard with uh, yes. Johnny Knoxville and Sean William Scott, which is where they built up their relationship with WB. And yeah. they're also the upcoming movie Winter uh, Super Troopers Winter Soldiers. <laughs> Apparently, that's what it's called, Winter Soldier. <laughs> okay. And also, I believe he directed uh, Freeloaders and Puddle Cruisers. Yes. 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 That's correct. Yeah. Yes. And uh, the movie stars the Broken Lizard Troop, who are Jay Chandler. Chanda Sakar. I said it. I said Jay. I got it. I got it. All right. Sack. We got Chanda Sakar. We got. Uh, uh, he's uh, as Barry. We got Kevin Hefferman as Landfill. We got Steve Lem as Fink. We have Paul Salter as Jan, Jan Wolfhaus. And then we have Eric Stolhask as Todd Wolfhaus. Yeah. Uh, the two brothers, actually. Uh, then we also have Cloris Leachman, we got MC Ganey, we got Jurgen Prohow, we got Non Forte, Will Forte, Eric Christian Olsen, Monique, 
Monique? Monique. What is she from? Because I've seen her in something. Singer. She's also Precious, the story of whatever. Oh, that, that <laughs> oh she was in that too? Time. She won an Oscar for that. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and also Ralph Miller. So And also. And who else? The guy Fucking Willie Nelson. Hater. Oh, yeah, I, and, uh, Will, the cameo, Willie Nelson. Don't Willie Nelson. Another Oscar winner. Who? <laughs> Come on. No, I, I don't know who. Oh, you have Cloris Leachman, you have Monique, and then you have an honorary uh, Lifetime Achievement Oscar winner in Donald Sutherland. Thank you. Is That's that right. Forgot Donald Sutherland was in this in the yeah. beginning. He's, un he's uncredited for some reason. But yeah, because yeah. when I did the credits for this movie, I didn't even see him in there, so that's why I probably didn't yep. put him in there. But he was good in this movie this in the beginning. This movie has three fucking pulled fucking his own Oscar plug. <laughs> that's fucking Best crazy. Best cameo ever. Right. Other movies that come out around this time, we have some good movies here. We got Borat. Good. That was a good movie. We got Little Children. Okay. We got Crank. Yes. Good. We got Halloween, Hollywoodland. Yes. Uh, which I think it was uh, Ben Stiller playing uh, Superman, the uh, uh, the original Superman. Uh, we got Little Man. That was that ringing a bell. That's man. the one with the uh, uh, the two brothers from Scary Movie. Oh yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, little yeah, guy yeah, where it's yeah, got yeah, like the, the CGI and everything brother. else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got Silent Hill. We got yeah. The Illusionist, oh, and of course the motherfucking snakes on a plane. Motherfucking snakes on this motherfucker. Well, that came out this time too. That came out around this time. No shit. Yeah, there's a lot of good movies that came out around that time. So you didn't like Silent Hill. Huh? You didn't I, like? I, I, it was okay. I yeah. thought it was fun. I it thought was it was a decent. fun little horror movie. It was okay. It's a different premise on the movie, so. Yeah, it no, is. I, I mean, give him credit different for, premise based, based on the game. Yeah. yeah, I give him credit for coming up with the original idea. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I thought it was a pretty decent horror film. I mean, those pyramid-looking dudes and everything else. and uh, it, it was Pyramid it's a, Head? Is that what it was called? Yeah, he's, he's called yeah. Pyramid Head. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Have you seen the females for those? Yes. That do that? Yes. Yeah. yes. That's just fucking hot oh as fuck. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Yeah. It's just weird how they're inverted and, you know, it doesn't side. Yeah. yeah. But two, I mean, one of these. fucking <laughs> dumbass. One of these movies that we're doing is actually one that we're going to be doing in the summer is Crank, which is one of Steve's yes. hosting jobs, yes. actually. So I'm actually looking really forward to that one, but uh, definitely Crank we're going to. Out to it. We're going to do something first before we uh, get into this movie. Yes. We are going to Break do. Why does the last guy chug out of a shoe? It's no shoe! It's Das Boot! So we are going to drink from the drink boot. Out. So let's go ahead and out. get these out. We will be right back. All right, so we are back on the show. So on the count of three, we're going to say the famous saying in Beer Fest. Ziggy Zaggy, Ziggy Zaggy. Oi, oi, oi. All right, so on the count of three. One, two, two three. three. Ziggy zaggy, ziggy zaggy. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, go. All right, go. <laughs> he didn't have all his beer in there. Yes, fuck off, I did. Oh, I thought you didn't get it all in there. Empty, <laughs> son of a bitch. All right, well, I'm, I guess I'm second place. Uh, Spicy boner! Spicy boner! And the infant. Are we surprised? Hey, Babe, hey, I can hey, hey. no. beer better than you. Are you serious? Yes. To be honest, I thought we were going on three. Yeah, at this point, he's just savoring it. I know we're going after. You got a big-ass fucking <laughs> What are we doing? What the what hell? Are <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. We're getting attacked by hornets. Some of us. <laughs> They're fucking hornets. What the fuck are you talking about? What, what is yeah, that? They are. Is it a wasp? What's up, little? Yeah, they're hornets. <laughs> that shit's. Just... <laughs> All right, so we just chugged our beers from Dust Boot. Hi. Hello. That's my niece. That's awesome. Oh, All right. the breeze. Hi, sweetheart. Yes. What's your name? You know my name. No. What's his name? Yeah, say his, What's name? his name. What's his name? That. No, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll go one. Right, I'll go one. Yeah, I'll go right. one. No, you that's got you gotta right. say it. Come on, you gotta no, say it. No, she doesn't. She needs to listen to her uncle. <laughs> go see Auntie. Okay, baby. All right, All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go right into this movie. So uh why did Screw we you pick, guys. Why did we pick this movie for this? Because of we're course, going to a goddamn we're brewery. A fucking brewery. Exactly. So that's the only thing is I fucking love this movie. Thing is, I remember seeing this when it first came out back in two thousand six and I haven't seen it since then. I always remember Wait, being like, what? A, what? That's how long it's been. You fucking weirdo. No, wow. No. But the thing is, I thought it was okay back then, but when I watched it now, I enjoyed it more than anything. I actually thought it was extremely hilarious. 
you kind of relate to it, just having fun with drinking and all your buddies and stuff like that. Yes. Fun fucking movie. So, Stu, I know this is one of your favorite when it comes to Broken Lizard. So. Yes, it is. Um, not my favorite of Broken Lizard, but uh, it's just a great film, a bunch of characters in it that represent a wide variety of personalities. Yeah. Um, something ridiculous premise, you know, some <laughs> underground beer Olympic level shit. All right. It's blood sport, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this, this fucking fly is getting fucked up right now. Good. He's getting, he's getting drunk. You have also another tie to uh, American Ho- American Werewolf in London. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Where was the tie to American Werewolf in London? Where uh, Barry wakes up drunk and oh, kills yeah, yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Again? Not again. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. Again. Barry was fucking hilarious. Barry was movie. funny. He was funny. I, I actually was one of the funniest parts of the movie, but Landfill really spot on. I fucking love Landfill in this movie. Landfill was a lot of Landfill was I good. Fink was fun. Everybody was fun. Yeah, no, Fink was, Everybody was It was fun. weird because he shaved the top of his head to make him look yes. like he was balding and everything else. No, so he grew out his hair. He then dyed his hair. He then permed his hair. And then daily he would have to shave that top area of his head yeah. before shooting. And then he had to walk around and look like that for months. For months. <laughs> <laughs> what, which character do you guys identify with? Landfill. For me, it's Barry. Barry was fucking hilarious. I'm a, uh, the game I, know, I know why. I know why. Did you used to play ping pong in Ding Dang? <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did once. In an opium den? I did, did once. That's a bad, bad past. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Are you still shitting pancakes? <laughs> Maybe. But the, thing that I, I, the thing I love the most about Landfill is the genius way that they killed him off and brought him back by yes. bringing his brother yes. to make it look like he never died. And he said, could you guys just go ahead and call me Landfill for the yeah, rest of this? Yeah, this way we don't have to spend time, you know, getting to know you, but, like, nothing changed. Yeah, yeah. Landfill told me about you. Yeah. Yes. I thought that was a genius way of bringing him back. I thought that was fucking hilarious. But uh, um, I like all of them. I mean, all, all the guys I are funny. I love how Landfill died. Yeah, I love how he. Died. I think. I think honestly, he could have made it. I, don't I think. Know. I think he could have made he it. Good enough physically. He <laughs> you can't take a vat of beer. I'm sorry. I don't know. He was doing really well. Yeah, yeah. and then he wasn't. <laughs> really, I think he could have made it. Yeah. But his but, little pocket knife was not going to cut it. No. <laughs> but how quickly he was drinking, creating that little fucking uh-huh. uh, cyclone. And I was like, oh, man, this is fucking genius. Seen him drunk at the bottom of the fridge and his wife coming in thinking yes. that he's fucking no. dead. He was hey, just, hey, hey, we've been there. We've all yes. been there. We've been there. Yes, I know. All we right. have. Wrap you know He had a hot wife. Yes, he did. He had a hot wife. <laughs> and then she became a widow. widow, or a widow. You, had, you had kids? <laughs> <laughs> she was fucking And lame. then she got... <laughs> His brother, his twin brother, fucked her better than he did. <laughs> yeah. like, Switching out the, no, no, the portraits on the... <laughs> you see, I think you see the wife, or was it him or the wife that actually took the picture of him and like slammed it down? The wife. The fu- it was yeah, that was the wife. wife. Fucking hilarious. And then pull out a fucking... Replace it with a new one. Yeah. Texas yeah. hat. Yeah. Uh, no, th- this is probably one of the best with Broken Lizard because Broken Lizard, I'm not going to say, is like the best comedy troupe out there. There's a lot more better comedy troops out there, but... You say a lot more. Who would you say is a... a Besides Monty All right, Python, uh, you got Ke- oh, Keenan no. and uh, the Keenan and uh, um, you think the Wayne's brothers, Keenan oh. and Peel, oh, no. Keenan and Peel, the Wayne's brothers. Troupe. They're not. Yes, they are. They're actually, if you look Key up online, Peel are not a comedy troupe. Yes, they are. They done movies They're together. They're two people. So what? They're not a troupe. It's two people. A one or one. That's two. a duo. It's, still, it, I still, it's a duo. That's a pair. It goes with comedy troupe. You look up on Google, it says comedy troupe. They're a comedy troupe. Do you believe everything Google says? It's on the internet. It has to be real. All right. So the internet, the internet lies. Right. Yes, yeah. it does. Uh, Actually, dumb lady. people like uh, you no, no, believe it. No, Monty Python and the Monty Python. Besides, besides Monty Python, which I said. All right, hold on. I'm thinking the Saturday Night oh, yeah. Live. Uh, no, the, the, they're not. That's not a troop at all. The Judd Apto troop, I guess. Like with the um, Jonah, Judd Apto. The, the guys that have been in a lot of the Judd Apto films. Like this is the yeah, end and stuff like that. They're, Judd Apto. They're friends of Judd Apto. They Jonah are, Hill, Danny McBride. Yeah. Uh, that's friends. Franco. Like that, but that's not them. I still would call them a comedy troop when you think about it because they do a lot of movies together. You're, you're talking about like, all right, so you're saying that Broken Lizard is probably only one comedy troops out there next to uh, Monty, Monty Python? Python? I mean, besides Monty Python. An actual true one? That, that yeah. That actually, you know, c- continuously. And they've been doing this for three fucking decades now. Oh, yeah. All right, have been making films together. All right, then what, what, is, the, what is the troupe that uh, um, Kevin Smith has? Would you call that a comedy troupe? His uh, his brand basically. No, uh, basically it's, it's him and um, uh, his buddy. Silent Matt, Bob. Uh, no, well, Kevin Smith. Is <laughs> Jason Muse. <laughs> Jason, uh, uh, his name is Bob. Jason Muse. In all the other films, yeah, you have some returning actors and stuff like that, but they're not. 
you know, well, if that's the case, then you can consider fucking Adam Sandler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As oh. one, the Happy Madison. Yeah, you know, they're not a troop. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them. No, I, oh, hold on, I, hold I on, Sammy, wind, come on, um, come on, Mike, and say something. Oh no, I can say it right here. I said King of the Oysters says, and I quote: "So many full beers, maybe the wind should blow some of those down to Stu's mouth." <laughs> <laughs> He said, "I'll drink to that." Yeah, no, but I, I don't know. I, I guess this, but to me, they're not. They're nowhere near as Monty Python. I think Monty Python ranks high among them, in my opinion. So, real quick, Stu, you're you're going through working through a flight of everything they have available. Is that correct? Yes, we okay. are. We are. We yes, you're right. I we was are. nice enough to purchase them for all of us. Yes, yes. yes. But I know you. Oh, I, I know you've you've, I you've taste yeah. tested, tested each one. At one point or another, yes. Okay, which one so far is your favorite? It depends on my mood. Um, the Garuda is really fucking awesome. It's like point. Hawaii in a glass. I had that earlier. It's fantastic. But also, I don't think I'm drinking that every fucking day. No, no it's yeah, like it's no. very coconutty, very pineapple. Yeah. It's delicious. Um, yeah. Their um, Appalachia is pretty fucking standard. You know, Why do you pronounce that like a fucking New I Yorker? Think, no, I'm pretty sure that's how it's spelled. Appalachia. I'm pretty Appalachia. sure that's how it's fucking spelled. Appalachia. Appalachia? Yeah, there we yeah. go. Fucking leafer. I'm not a fucking leafer. Boom. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Who? Casey. Yeah. Casey Kasem. Yeah. Casey. He's no shit. He came back from the dead. <laughs> oh, damn. Do you he guys remember? Ryan Seacrest. Do you guys? <laughs> didn't Ryan he Seacrest. fucking escape from his like? Uh, uh, it was. He was in like an assisted living system situation. He escaped for like a month. Did, Did he? he? I, I Casey don't know. Kasem. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Didn't he? I, no, I've never heard. I don't of know. Okay. Heard of that. I thought I he, think you are making shit up in your drug addled mind right now. That's possible. Yeah. <laughs> no, I feel that like I remember sound very accurate. something where he had gone missing. It sounds like his... something Bella Lugosi would do. Yeah. Touche. Dun, dun, yes. dun. So. <laughs> Bella Lugosi. Or it's one of us will be at that point. <laughs> so, you, I'm definitely you. Yeah. Well, no, Absolutely. Back, back to Goose's <laughs> question. Who, who do you more relate to? Who do you feel like you more relate to in the, in the whole troop? Um, more in this movie or just in the troop altogether? Why? I don't know. Well, no, movie, well, the, no, 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 no. We're talking about the movie. movie. Yeah, the movie. Yes, the movie. I would probably say, um, not Todd, but the other brother. The one with the black guy. Jim. Yeah. yeah. Jim. Jan. Jim. 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 I would probably relate with him more. Just that pure fucking, I need that anger to keep driving me. I want to say, <laughs> fuck this. We're goddamn America. Yeah. We're coming back here to kick some fucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. I would say Barry. Barry. Really? I've been in his situation a, a shit ton too many times. We got uh, we got to yeah. eight J's and you know BJ's and ZJ's and for a dollar, <laughs> don't touch my hey, toes look, man, and touch myself. So the, the story behind a ZJ was uh, JP Morgan. Uh, somebody asked him like, how much did it, his yacht cost? He goes, you have to ask. yeah, you, you can't afford. It. You have to ask, you can't afford. Yeah, it. you got to ask, you can't afford. That's it. where he got it from. No, okay, I'm <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. That's smart. That's one of the, genius. One of the best scenes from Barry actually. Here's a clip right here. I'm gonna go grab a taxi, baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beer goblin. Like I said. Yeah. Been Barry. there before. Here we go. I've been there before you too. Me? She's hot as hell. <laughs> One of my favorite lines. Are you sure oh. you want to do this, man? You're drunk. I'm drunk. drunk. You're, You're drunk. drunk. Everybody's drunk. <laughs> Fucking love that from Barry. That that was one of the funniest scenes in the movie, right there. Yes, I was being it, funny. It was uh, that was actually up. added in. Yeah. Oh, really? Was it? Yeah. Really? The unrated version is yeah. added in. Oh, see, that's the only cut uh, I got. Uh, that they, wasn't in the R-rated version. No, that wasn't in the original. What they had. Uh, what planned, the theatrical and, one? Uh, no, it wasn't the theatrical. Yeah. One. All right. But I'm saying no. They shot the film, and then they showed. Uh, they were showing the dailies and stuff like that, and the, the rough cut to WB, and they're like, it's very dick centric. You need some women, all right? And they're like, ah, true. And then a bunch of other people were like, good beer for goggles. you, WB. How can we talk about fucking beer goggles? Yeah. You know, we all yeah. have fucking experience with beer goggles. They go over that in the Beer 101 special features. Yes. Yeah. You watch that? Yes, I did. Yes. Oh, my God. I fucking love it. Um, see, the, so they went back and they, they added that that scene. Yeah. You know, but that goes against what you say is because you rather the original cut than the... No, um, no, 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 no. Like I said, this isn't what was released in theaters. This is what they originally... 
were, were shooting and, you know, releasing the WB before it hit theaters and everything like that. Okay, And WB cut. gave the, you know, feedback back yeah. before it yeah. was released. Okay, okay. Yeah, because the saying. unrated version has So this the... was in the theatrical. Yes. 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 But oh, okay, wasn't... so that's what I was yeah. asking. Yeah, no, no, if no, no. it wasn't in the R the, no, the they theatrical didn't have originally have it planned to be in there. Yeah. So the, right. the unrated version has 10 extra minutes. So you could tell when they change. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's like good quality, then there's bad quality yeah. of a sudden. That's yeah. the unrated version. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Well, Except for when they're using stock footage. Of, <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like when they were shooting um, Munich, they were using uh, Albuquerque, Phoenix. New Mexico. Uh, yeah. yeah. All were, New Mexico. Yeah, yeah, they were using fucking different places to stand in for fucking Munich, Germany, which... You immediately can fucking tell. Yeah. <laughs> immediately can fucking you've been, tell. you've been over there. All right. Yeah. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going fucking crazy. I yeah. was like, this doesn't feel right. See, if they, uh, the funny thing is, like, they use the, the weirdest, those fucking weird-ass locations for, for fucking uh, Munich. Yeah. yeah. Right? It's just weird because there's a place in, there's, there's a handful of fucking places that actually mimic um, Munich or Germany. Okay. Uh, places like Wisconsin. that. Like Wisconsin. One of them, one of them is in um, Helen, uh, Georgia, which was about an hour or so away from where I used to live. Yeah. And shit. And that is a, a, a fucking a German. A, a German town. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But I can tell you from having been to Munich, none of those fucking places actually look like fucking Munich. Oh, yeah. I know. All right. <laughs> I, yeah. I went to uh, the 200th anniversary of Oktoberfest. F- go fuck yourself. In yeah. Munich. You son of a yeah. bitch. Yeah. All right. Man. So, yes. so the one that they showed in the movie has nothing, uh, has nothing okay. compared nothing. to Inside the beer garden tent. Yes. That, you know, that's that spot feel, on. That felt very yeah. real. Okay. Very fucking real. But anything, exterior shots, it looks nothing like fucking Munich at all. Oh, shit. It, all right, so Munich is this looks like New old, York. Old, yeah, it's this old fucking city that's been around for fucking ever, and they have like a fairground in the middle mm-hmm. of a fucking city. Yeah. So you're looking out, you see fucking old ass fucking buildings and shit like. You don't see like hills with fucking grass and shit like that. No, that's not fucking Munich yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. All right, this is a city that's, that's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years fucking old. Yeah. All that shit's been fucking paved the fuck over. Yeah. All right. Um, but when I went to Munich, the at the Munich fairgrounds. Uh, when we went, there was one million people on on the fairground wow. that day. That's it's incredible. it's a massive fucking. I am not surprised. Massive actually. fucking place, and you like, you are shoulder to shoulder with fucking people. But then you also have the weirdest fucking experiences. You go into the fucking tents, the beer the beer garden tents. Um, I remember we were there. I'm like, I'm in Munich, celebrating Oktoberfest. I am drinking. With a bunch of Russians who are there also <laughs> fucking celebrating goddamn Oktoberfest. We're, we're singing German fucking songs yeah. that we don't know the words to, but sound But you're still having right. a good fucking time, though. Yes. Yeah. Amazing fucking time. And so nobody's there, judging. No. So there's a restaurant. I, don't, I used to I have a rewards card for it. Like a rewards? And it, you, when that, what do I, do? what'd you do? The Fuck, this cups. is easier to throw. <laughs> I didn't want to throw all of this. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. So there's, I don't remember the fucking name of the restaurant, but it, it gives you rewards for like, you get reward points for every time you what go. What city is yeah. this in? Is it the Bavarian? No, I, no, it's, it, the restaurant is like all over the fucking country. Okay. The Bavarian but chef, which I but think is one of the rewards thing. is if you get X amount of points, they will send you to Oktoberfest. What? Then say what those fucking reward points are. <laughs> yes. Amazing. So it's amazing. For like a fucking year, that's all. That's the only restaurant I wanted to fucking go to. I don't blame you at all. Because they, they'll, you get enough points for paying, they'll send you to Oktoberfest. Yeah, for my two father-in-law, people. he loves. Ger- he has ancestry in, from Germany, but yeah, he wants to. He always wants to go to uh, German like based like restaurants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I mean, and it's really cool of an idea that while all this shit is going on. They're having this, you know, this drinking contest. Underground, too. Yes. Underground drinking contest. Which, by the way, do you think there is anything like that in uh, Germany? Yes. In Germany? Like underground beer there drinking is contest? Beer Olympics. There, that is a there real is, thing. Okay. See, I didn't yeah. know. I, I didn't know if the that was year just made they were up. filming Oktoberfest, or Beer Fest, um, the Canadians actually won uh, the, the Beer Olympics. No shit. Yeah, the, the, really? Yes. So me and my friends, we pulled this shit off. 
we uh, there's 20 of us, and after we saw Beer Fest, we're like, let's fucking do this. So we had f- uh, four teams of five, and we tried to do all the shit they did in Beer Fest. Yeah. yeah. It was the best day of my life. And the, the worst, next day, and the worst, worst day. day of my life. Yep. The yep. next day. <laughs> we, my team won, yeah. but... Oh my God! Alcohol doesn't give you a good time. It just borrows positivity from the from tomorrow. <laughs> Says you. No. no, it gives a you fucking do amazing time. You with proper hydration. Oh, with proper hydration, yeah. yeah. But you yes. know, just alcohol. Yeah, no, you're That's just borrowing you tomorrow's are, happiness. Yes. You are being an amateur at that point. <laughs> all right. We are professional level drinkers. Yeah, the father has stepped in. Like he makes sure all of us drink water. He had food. Like yeah. he was taking breaks. Yeah, oh, it was. Yes. Yeah. So, I, and the fact, I mean, the line that they um, delivered when they first, when the, when the Americans first met the Germans, oh, you guys fancy yourself some drinkers? Well, we just fucking beat the Irish. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we the Irish are drinkers. That's <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Okay, go have some uh, Zima and some Smirnoff. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a punishment shot. I heard a real name right there. The tape was That was going to be nice. Yeah. I, think, I think I have to agree. Uh, what is... It'd be, uh, Stu. No, I, I know. That's his wife. I, I, I know, no, I was looking around but, uh, at the my, table. My, hold on. Uh-oh. It was my wife that was being called, not my wife that was breaking the rule. So she's your guest. So who would get the punishment shot? Who, who exactly said it? Who, the, who called her out? The tape will tell. Yeah. Well, that's not going to work. that's on both of us. So. <laughs> that's yeah, on both of us? So we got to drink a beer. Yes. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> You got a full beer right there? You got a full beer right there. Yeah, I got a darker one. Hey, that's your beverage of choice. All right, cheers. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, chug it. Come on. Come on. You have a cavity there, Stu? No, it is warm. (laughs) (laughs) We're talking about German beer fest. It's all warm beer. Piss off. Just do it. Oh, come on. You want to get this, Raj? I finished the whole thing. No, finish it. <laughs> Look at his fucking glass. Finish your fucking, fucking drink. Cool. There you go. Good job. <laughs> That's a good beer. What, which one was Come that? on, Stu. Take it to the base. The Yulga. Say the one who lost. Right. Yeah, I know. What does that say? All right. Yulager? The Yulagin. The Yulagin. I just chugged out a Yulagin and Stu's still working on his. What the fuck? Seriously. I'm a You're 41 bigger than me. year old. You should be able to chug man. that shit. <laughs> All right. You, you should be able to chug that and shit. And I will drink it at a leisurely pace. <laughs> All right. Oh, I, I will. I thought that, 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 that was not the rule. Like, I, will, I understand. I'll keep that was not the rule. I'm, I'm going to keep bro- breaking it. I'm so just you're going to have to chug I'm another one. Gonna, I'm pretty okay, sure the agreed upon practice was to chug it. I chugged by the man who didn't chug. I'm aware of that, but right, so no, 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 no. That, that means I you did need to chug. fucking chug. I just you. wasn't oh, good it, at it. So who's chugging? Hey, you just called yourself. No, out. I no, did I chug. chug. I just wasn't chug. good at it. The. Uh, so, hey, Kate. Oh, awesome beer, by the way. The Come on there. Good. The Yuga Come, Come on the mic. So, since you are the uh, the bipartisan. Okay. Guest, at at the moment. Yes. All right. So the rule was, if you fail at something, you need to chug the beer. Okay. All right. So, I'm, I'm drinking it steadily. Stu did not chug the beer. I chugged the beer. With Chase the admittedly did not chug his beer. No, I chugged it. I just wasn't no. good at chugging. No. It wasn't very fast. You you said you admittedly <laughs> you admittedly said, I did not chug it. Also six beers in. So that, uh, whose fault is that? Did you chug it? Or yes or no? Yes, That's I did. <laughs> he tried to chug it. So do you think he needs to chug it? I I do. Ah. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Kate for the brew. He says it. You gotta chug it. What am I doing? Pick one. Pick a beer and chug it. The lost or the lost. The lost. Okay. Yeah. Amazing. Go with the light one. It'll be easier yeah. on your okay. stomach. Yeah. Just chug it. it. Was very good. <laughs> <laughs> You're still drinking. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm steady. <laughs> I'm steady. I'm drinking it. You guys suck at chugging. Seriously, I thought I was bad. I'm happy you're happy. I mean, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> you, if you throw up, then you got to drink another one. It's a trash can go. that way. Bro, right? How is it I can chug beer better than you? Uh-oh. Okay, Fritz was calling you, like you out. Would to take my shot instead? Wait, what was that? How is it that my scrawny ass can chug a beer better than you? You got a lot of room for expansion. Oh, <laughs> I took that wow. beer with no problem at all. You did. Good job. 
You're gonna feel that you one. You know, I'm very, very impressed. I'm telling you right. She's I'm telling you, she got has I don't care. Uh, I don't I don't care. Yeah, it's easy. No, seriously, Ron, I'm very impressed. Oh, thank oh, you, boy. thank you. <laughs> so warm. So the five it's of not us. Warm. It is actually, it's not bad. No, warm. mine was. But mine it's not was bad. I, I, I actually, mine was just slightly like you know, uh, room temp. Well, yeah. outside temperature. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because we're like, outside in fucking hell right now. 90 fucking 8 degree weather. <laughs> yeah. 98 degree room temperature. No, I, it wasn't bad in my opinion. I think it was no, pretty no, good. I, Actually, I, hey, I want to take I'm a minute. Not, I want to thank, yeah. I want to thank yeah, everyone. It's currently 94 degrees. Oh, hold on. What, I, what's up, I, right I, I want to thank everyone that has actually showed up uh, to today. Yes. Uh, yes, thank you guys so to, much. Uh, thank you. support us yes. today in our fucked up shenanigans. Our first ever live. And thank you for the 1781 Brewery. Thank you so much for having us at your show. We are fucking loving it here. Having such a great yes. time. And actually, we're going to go ahead and do that Ziggy Ziggy over again. You don't even Wait. know what the fuck you're talking about. No, Ziggy we, Zaggy, we, Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy. Oi, oi, oi. oi. No. Right. No. No. Z top. Do it again. Not Ziggy Zaggy. Z nope. All right, Drake. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Fuck you. That's three oh, goddamn no, times. No, no, no. It is a K, not a G. How do you pronounce it? Oh, it, so you corrected me, which means you got a chuck. It is. Ziggy Zaggy. Ziggy Zaggy. Hoy, hoy, hoy. That is the German pronunciation. But we're in America. Yeah. We're in America. <laughs> it is. You got Chuck. So, no, we're in fucking America. But you tried. Goot. No, but he, no, he, he corrected. No, I don't. Goot. Goot is about a Spanish That's one last person name, to correct dude, me. Chill. Hold up. Goot's a German word for good. It is, but that's not how it's spelled. <laughs> but he is our closest to German. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's your closest. Hey, hey, hey. I was born Spain in Spain. Spain is near Germany. Spain is near Germany. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally from Wiesbaden. You're not. No, I am. You live there. No, I, I literally am from Wiesbaden. Okay, and okay. So is it Ziggy with a G or Zicky with a K? Ziggy Zaki, Ziggy Zaki. There you yeah. go. So thereby, Ragnar have to no. chug a beer. Then we have to, we no, call we're in America. We call a vote then. We're in America. Do we, we fucking like, talk American? I'm calling a vote. It. Do we feel like Ragnar has to chug the beer? Yes, I, I, I only uh, oh, that's fine. Uh, only right. because you that's were fine. trying to correct me on something you weren't informed about. Yep, that's fine. That's fine. But like I said, we're in America. <laughs> you learned your lesson now. And guess what? And guess what? World English or spoken, <laughs> so spoken in go German. Fuck yourself. Yeah, English I'm is smoking uh, on air. Right, so, this is amazing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, grab me one of those. That's what do you want? Uh, the middle. There we go. That one worked. We're going through these beers, Kate. <laughs> Whose unsmoked cigar has just been chilling on this table the whole time? Mine is right here. I'm well, about mine's to right by. here. Yeah. I'm on the show, man. Being professional. So was I. Ish. Okay. I don't know which one this is, but whatever. All right. Chug, 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 chug. So the five of us, could we do a beer fest all together if we were a team? Oh. I, I, we, uh, we could. Hey, we I suck at it. I'm good at <laughs> chugging. I, I'm good for it. I would do it. You, you, your the chugging volume? Is, is much better than mine. Yes. Yes. But your chugging is nothing compared to what these fools were doing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> right. No, you need to drink Rams piss. Yeah. To, well, get, to, get to open your throat. Sure. I yeah. love that it looked like friggin' Mountain Dew. <laughs> That's one of the best lines in the movie. Uh, Game Gam's like, fuck, if you could drink Rams piss, you could drink anything. Uh, <laughs> fucking Gam Gam. I love motherfucking Gam Gam. Gam Gam was a She was a good one. She was great. She, she was, was a good one. Young Frankenstein. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Like a little cameo right there. Yeah. I fucking, and, but she's, when she's like doing the sausage and shit like that, I take out she was a whore. <laughs> <laughs> warming sausage like that for hundreds of years. One might say it's their oldest you took profession. That he did. He killed it. Good job. Good job. Unfortunately, I don't. Actually, fortunately, I don't bitch like you do. Uh, no, I don't mind Get chugging him. a beer. So, chugging a beer is nothing. Get it's him. easy. It's easy. <laughs> Uh, Whatever, dude. Well, that's why you came in second. Well, you can't chug a beer. You're still working on yours. I cannot. Dude, you gotta finish it. That's why you dumped, gotta finish it. That's why I dumped half of his. All right, so <laughs> I ain't no quitter. Like I, I suck at what I, I do, but I ain't no quitter. You can't even talk. Red tat tat. That's the red. Maybe? Drink a bug. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, ahead and get back. Is that to the Fimple Fenter? No. Say we ain't that drunk yet, cheeky right, bastard. But I can't read it. I'm trying to get the sun to hit it just right, but it's just. I don't. There's lettering right here. I just can't. Here. Oh, and I, I can't tell. This might be the red, maybe. Oh, that L may be the a. 
I, I don't know. Do I have to that fucking murder it? Okay. I, I, it's in Sharpie. I think it's a red. I think yeah. it's a red ale. So, the, like I said, we're having a great time doing this live show right yes. here. There's live recording at this brewery. We're having such a fucking great time. Hey, Snow, what's up? What's up? Hi. The party's here. The party's here. All right, so. Oh, so did you know that they weren't actually drinking beer? Yeah. Tea? What oh were they my. drinking? No, 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 no. Odules. For most of Not the alcoholic beer? Mixed with diet, was it Coke or Pepsi? Uh, I, think it was, I think it was Pepsi. Pepsi. Diet Pepsi. Yeah. Yeah. Are you fucking serious? Yeah. They weren't yes. drinking real so, beer? No. Yes. So they for can't get about drunk and expect to, you know, well, do their yeah. lines. Yeah. So no. when they do the movie Pot Fest, they're not going to be smoking real pot? Who Oregano. knows? For, okay. Except for... No. Except at, for Willie. No. Because at, when they're doing when the they boots... To, when they were doing um, the knockouts, yeah. all right? The knockout. Yeah. The when they, when they went to, No. The knockout when they went to the party and yeah. shit like that. Okay. That was 100%. Real. Yes. Uh, yes. 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 He did a hundred percent, and they did. I like, gave three takes of it. All right. So he he did a, a fucking bong rip. Yep. All right. The strike out. Fucking shot. The strike out. Strike out. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> God, he, he did a, a bong person. rip. Then he did a fucking beer. Then he did a fucking <laughs> shot. Then he exhaled. He had to do three of those. Uh, three takes of those. That was that was legit eight shot. No shit. Okay. Yeah. But the fact that they use O'Doul's and mix with what? Diet Pepsi. No, Diet Pepsi? Pepsi to give it the uh, the darker. Oh, okay. Look, look. Okay, I see what you're saying. So, what other uh, facts about this movie that you love about this movie? Um, oh. that's a, it's all right. Das Boot. That actually was a real thing. Yes. Was. Yes. Right, everyone heard about that? Yeah. Yes. Um. So Jay and uh, I believe it was Lemmy. Yes, Steve. Yeah. Um, I will say it's usually a yard of beer that yes. is the big challenge, they, though. And it was absolutely the the, tr- the truth, the the bubble. Bursting and shit yep. like that. That's their. They had that in their mind for a while there, and uh, they had saw it at a New York bar. Yeah, the part I participated in it and shit like that, and they're like, we have to fucking include this. Yeah, yeah. Well, to yeah. That's to say, the, so the boot, um, when when you drink out of the boot, right, you get the bubble. Yeah, right? that's the same as when you're drinking out of a horn. Yeah, yeah. And shit. If you don't, so what'll happen is a lot of guys think, like when you're drinking out of the out of a boot. Right, drink it this way, right? You'll be fine. Okay. I like the way you think it this way to our listeners. No, yes. no, I mean okay. to our watchers. To yes. our watchers, yes. But we, we were doing so, a multimedia. <laughs> we got a watcher. <laughs> so when you're, it's a good movie. So a lot of the time, if you're drinking out of the boot, right, you have your the toe, toe facing up. away from you. Yes. All right. That's the same way if you're drinking out of a horn. Okay. The curve yeah. is away from you. Problem is, is that if you do it this way, you get that bubble. That automatically forms yep. at the to- at the toe or the point of the horn, right? So when you're going, you're gonna get fucking splashed just yes. like they do in the movie. The suction. So, yeah. So, so that's why you you twist turn, it, turn it, and then you dissipate. Twist. That well, it's got that yeah. whole like where Fink gives that whole like scientific yeah. explanation. I I hold on, hold on. So in the yeah. uh, fuck, I just said that. I, thank I, I you. I knew that. I was just agreeing with you. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> God. So one cool thing about the uh, the end there with the boot. The CGI effect of the the beer. Yes, yeah, that was really cool. But in the uh, it was so bad. I know. <laughs> there was a lot <laughs> of bad CGI in this movie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it bad. fucking worked though. It's no, fit. but it, it looked fit. fake. You could tell how fake it, yeah. it looked. It but it worked. Beer. You had to do it. Yeah. So uh, in the uh, in the director's commentary, Steve Lemmy comes up with a scientific method scientific method for a pose for yeah. drinking. Yeah. You see him do it three times, but they never explain it. When he's doing the face-off with um, Lenfield. Yeah, I Yeah. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. I was thinking of Sasuke with the fucking... You look like a fucking... What the- <laughs> I love all fucking Fink's yarmulkes that he had. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all he packed. Yeah. Like, oh, no, he's got the power of the Jew. Yes. The two yes. eye. The, the eye of the Jew. Eye I, of the Jew. I, I, don't you have one of the clips? You have a clip of that, actually, about Fink? Yeah, I I'm, I sent it to you. I don't know where you so put it. I have it. Which I one is it? it should be How you have it. The frustrating part? Oh, no. So that's Pogo. Pogo was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hold up, hold up. That moment. The moment that only exists we in sports. Video. Camera down. Rut row. The camera's Rut row. No, the uh, frustrating part. Fellas. Also frustrating. Gather up. Oh, no, when they're picking right, the order. The when you drink, the shape of the boot causes an air bubble to form in the toe. The bubble. 
That's it. That's the bubble. The bubble. Around the heel and explodes <laughs> towards your face while you drink it. In your face, it explodes. It's <laughs> <laughs> it impossible to handle. It's unavoidable. The Germans know how to do it. Frankly, I find the whole thing a little frustrating because I, I can't figure it out. It's frustrating. <laughs> I love that thing so much. Frustrating. It's frustrating. 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 Yeah. I love that thing so much. So you love Fink. Huh? You love Fink. I love Fink and Landfill's relationship. To Their each dynamic other. together. Yeah. yeah. It was originally great. they had scripted it to be um, Barry, the one fucking with really? the, uh, Pogo. Yes. Ah. All right. And, then they decided, all right, let's go ahead and have Landfill do it, and it just worked so well. I don't, I couldn't see Barry doing that. Yes. Yeah, I and, really couldn't. Okay. His interaction with so, Jan's well, wife was Barry better. Fink yeah. was gay. Huh? Fink was gay. Yeah, I already figured that as much. Yeah, they absolutely laid, really. Yeah, they laid the groundwork down there. Really, but they didn't in say multiple they, spaces. Well, it, it, you kind of seen it with right. the way that he was so, acting and stuff like that. When um, I have no idea. I, oh no. Okay. When when they when, when they first was there with Gadar Barry, running? I didn't when have you were a fucking Gadar. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Why are you judging? We all just adjunct. I'm just asking. I'm just all right. So, so offended. Jeez. So okay. When they first meet up with Barry. Yeah. All right. Who's the only one who tries to give Barry money? to see his dick and shit like that. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, then, when he gets jizzed on by the frog. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's a special day. And then he yeah. licks it. Oh! <laughs> all right. They threw, like, tiny little things. You're like, yeah. That okay. would be gay. That'd be yeah. bestiality, though. So in the but special he's, features, uh, but he's I, jerking off a fucking toad or a frog. That's okay, scientific that, research. That, that's still, I mean, I would say... Oh, so you, you'd go ahead and jerk off a frog? I didn't, if, if I'm not doing scientific you're research. you're any other semen, whether it's animal, human, or whatever, it's gay. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, and the special as features. Well speciality, yes. Yeah, yeah. The special features, the, yeah, the real the, one. The frog okay, buffer, so, yeah. the scientist okay, so when, comes in. When, when you decide to uh, ejaculate your semen, All right, so <laughs> is what that the gay? fuck? I just walked into if this I conversation. If I do it on my own <laughs> face and lick it, yes. <laughs> Yes, it is. Uh, what happens? What happens if it accidentally just shoots all the I'm way not up? I'm licking it. Yeah, and licking gets in your is mouth. not accidental. No, that was not. That was not Smoke accidental. Smoke a cigarette. Thing. That was it. <laughs> 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 all right. No. God no. damn it! You have derailed. I have not. <laughs> Fuck you, Lenny. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a break. We will be right back. We are back with our show for the Beer Fest. So now yes. let's finally get into the movie that we haven't talked about barely enough. We've talked about a lot. Oh, yeah. Rapper disagrees. No, I said we I talked about the... Why is it cutting out? It's not cutting it's out at all. Wind. Huh? The wind. No, like, I'm not... Oh, then that's on you, 100%. No, we, we oh, hear that fine. I hear you your hear perfectly. It's got to be your uh, headphones. Headphones. Play with the pink one. Do the, the pink one. Fiddle with the pink thing. Uh, no. Yep. On the top. All right, there we go. All right, sorry. Yeah, yeah because I probably no, the kids had it. Yeah. There we go. All right, they, they unplugged it a little bit. All right, so we are back with the show for Beer Fest. So, Beer Stu, Fair. other than the <laughs> uh, the uh, the fun stuff with Dust Boot and everything else in the Beer Fest, I mean, what do you think of the characters and all together? I, I thought mean, it was wonderfully done. Um, they each represented a completely different personality. Yeah. Yeah. They all played them amazingly well. Yes. Um, the the storyline is fucking yeah. perfect. The plot, the mystery. Would like, you say oh. this? Would you say this is the best of the Broken Lizard films? It's, Not my, to it's me. my personal favorite. Because everybody says that Super Troopers is like their all-time favorite, and to me, that's actually is weak compared to this one. Yes. For me, yeah, Beer Fest is number me, one. You disagree? Troopers. Super Trooper is number one, Beer Fest number two. Yeah. Okay. That would, that would be it for me. See, I, I, I'm a big fan of Club Dread. Club Dread is my favorite. Club Dread number Club three. Club Dread number two for me. Three. Yeah. yeah. That would be number three. Actually, Club I Dread. think that's one of your hosting uh, for next, next year. year. Yeah, that's on Club's your list for here. next year. Yeah. All right. Um, who You're here? Still here. <laughs> okay. How, how many? many <laughs> we'll go around. Ragnar, let's go ahead. How many Broken Lizard films have you seen? Uh, Super Troopers, um, Beer Fest, Club Dread. 
Uh, you see Super Troopers 2? I have not. Quasi. Okay. I didn't know that was out yet. Yes. So, no. Um, so, no. Then you got Slam and Salmon. Nope, never seen it. Never even heard of it, actually. Puddle Cruiser. Uh... I'd be very I, surprised. I, I, if I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, I'd be very surprised. If I it. did see it, it would have been by happenstance, okay. not knowing that it is. Yeah. Um. So you got Super Troopers one, two, Beer Fest, Lamb and Salmon, Club Dread, Club Dread, um, Puddle Cruiser, Puddle Cruiser. Which one? That Quasi. Quasi. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only yeah. ones have I have. Official. The only one I have not seen is Quasi. Have you seen Baby Makers? That's not an official one. I know, but have you seen it? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's not an official one. But Jay's also directed other movies other than yes. Broken Lizard. But he's also he was also uh, a guest in uh, J- but the Jackass Number Two. The difference is the Broken Lizard films are films that they wrote as well as starred in and directed. It's the yeah. production. Yeah. yeah, it is yeah. them. This is their films. They can do other films and be but parts I of other things. But I don't understand how Puddle Cruiser made them on the top of the map because Super It didn't make them on top of the map. It didn't. It was the it first didn't. movie. It's set, I think no. that one there is set. Super Trooper. They, they, they did that in college, right? Yeah, no, after college. Yeah. After college. So they were all, they all met and were frat buddies in college. Except yeah. for one of them. Huh? Except for one of yes. them. Yes, yes. Which one? Um, Who? Think? Kevin no. Everman? No, Everman was a part of the He was part of it. Yeah. It was Eric, right? Stol- yeah, Stolaski. Yeah. yeah. Um, but Which one is that? Um, Todd. And, oh, okay. Yeah. So um, they were all college buddies. They were all frat buddies, basically. Uh, then they get out of college. Um, they're already doing um, you know, improv and stand-up and shit like that. Hello, Waspy. It's a big one. That Wasp is just waiting to sting somebody. Eh. No, he wants some beer. He just wants to be on the air. I think you're just a little bit too paranoid there, bud. I'm not worried about it. Wasps don't bother me. Um, Until you get stung. So they I've go. been stung by wasps so many fucking times. Oh, I had a pop Don't be an asshole to the badass. wasp. We won't get stung. Yeah. They go and make Puddle Cruiser right after they get out of college. Yeah. All right. And, and then Super Troopers was what put them on the map. Super Troopers is what blew them the fuck up. Yeah. I think Puddle, uh, that, their first one, gave them their foot. Yes. Yes. That, they... And they won awards. It did. But, but would they you say, at, would you say that, that yeah. would you, with fucking Puddle Cruiser? But I mean, you were talking about that. Would you say that was their Clerks of Kevin Smith? Because so, Clerks was their first film. I think you asked me that earlier, and I was like, you know what? I don't feel that because I feel like Clerks was probably Kevin Smith's one of his best films. Yeah. So, well, yes. All right. But then Puddle Cruiser, I feel, is one of the worst Broken Lizard films. That's Same where they're, they are... Learning, they're trying to figure it out. They're yeah. they're bouncing, you they're know. Getting their foot settled. In. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, very amateurish. Yeah. Very amateurish. Um, so that's why I can't say it's the same as Clerks because Clerks I thought was amazingly yes. done. Yeah. Um, to me, it's one of his best films. Exactly. And he, he kind of went down. Then what would you say is Broken Lizard's best film? Because to me, it's Super Trooper. See, that's the thing. I I find it it's funny, but it's not the best comedy. There's I, I, I laughed more at Beer Fest than I did Super Troopers. Uh, that's fine. Uh, and, uh, but I think that's, that's a good sign of a comedy troupe is you can, different people can find enjoyment in different ways. Yeah. yeah. All right. I think it's a good progression. Yeah. Yes. Of, of, their, um, of their skill and talent to like, go from um, what they did in their very first one yeah. to carry on with like what that momentum would have done for an independent film mm-hmm. yes and carry that into a, a into a what i consider as a blockbuster with super troopers yeah even super Troopers, you know, when it came out they were still just handing out fucking tickets on the side of the it fucking was all word of mouth they I'm were trying to get by. fucking people to come and it was see all word shit. of mouth yeah well see I, i'm not surprised I, by I, that at all. Not, i actually enjoyed super troopers more than the first one in my opinion i thought it was fun right? from, from right. the last time i saw it it wasn't as bad would you, you say? say that again? I thought Super Troopers was better than the first one. What? The Super first? Troopers 2 was better than the first one. Oh, okay. Holy fuck. Yeah, I know. I was saying it wrong. I'm sorry. I can't <laughs> Super Troopers was better than the first one. <laughs> How the hell was Super first Troopers what? better know, than know, Super Troopers? Words are hard. I made something wrong. But seriously, I actually enjoyed that one better. I, I, I enjoyed the cameos in it you and everything Super else. Super Troopers 2 was a better film than Super Troopers. Super Troopers to me is complete. a weak comedy. It's, it's okay, but it's not like excellent. It's not like amazing. Super Troopers is not great. Beer Fest made me laugh more than Super Troopers. Which that I, that I can understand. That hey, that's fine. But 
I think you're the first person I've ever met who said Super Troopers 2 was no, better some than people did, Some people's opinions differ. I mean, Sam Horn is a it. fucking asshole. It's I, 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 fucking I, I, wrong. I, 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 fucking wrong. That's my opinion. <laughs> Your opinion is wrong. Yeah, yeah. You're, just remember, you're always wrong. Of course. Okay. Rod is... O- I almost said my name. Rod is <laughs> always wrong. Oh, who's Rod? <laughs> Ron is always wrong. Rod but Sterling is always wrong. <laughs> yeah. No, he's not. How dare you? I know. <laughs> Twilight Zone. Oh, Jesus. The but, over- overall, head and- <laughs> but overall, I mean, seriously, what, what, what is the best part about this movie that you love? Oh. We talk about favorite scenes. I'm, I'm curious. Uh, my favorite scene is when they're first at Oktoberfest in the tent. And we see a bunch of titties. <laughs> that was a good scene. That, that was, was, was a that nice, the, un- that was was that a nice the scene. Regular cut or the yeah, unrated no, regular. cut? That was oh, regular. Okay. Yeah, that was regular. Wow. Titties galore. How about you, Goot? You got to think about it. I would say the train montage that mall together. Oh yeah. Just train together, drinking rats and fish on top of the fucking <laughs> the fucking roof. Yeah. I can see them because they can't get high altitude yeah. training. Yeah. Yeah. I I think the best scene actually the is. The best scene yeah. is when they're actually trying to prepare for the beer fest. In the beginning. Yeah, and yeah. They're, they're struggling and having such a hard time and just getting drunk after drinking. Just like they were uh, not even emptying out the fuck. The, uh, they I mean, killed like a fucking half a keg. No. In the five. No. 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 I would say like a quarter of the keg. I think there was still plenty left in the keg. They should have finished yeah. the whole keg. I would say quarter of that. Yeah. He yeah. couldn't lift it. Yeah. They're weak. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> um, my yeah. favorite would probably oh. be... The scene where they go to the house party and the fun police. Oh, yeah. oh where they're acting yeah. with, with, all the, with all the high schoolers. Yes. And trying the all the games brigade. and everything. Yeah. 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 The, the party brigade. Yeah. 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 Yes. I, I just thought that worked so well. These bunch of fucking 20, 30 fucking year olds going to a fucking high school party. Just Dude, aren't you like 40? I'm 33. And then when the cops <laughs> come, that. And, and, that. And, and they're all running, and then he's like, wait, I'm fucking. <laughs> what the fuck am I running from? <laughs> like, yes. Yes. Thank you so much. What the fuck are you guys? I, I can't find my torch, so I'm using his lighter. It's right there. Oh shit! God damn! God. Are you retarded? No, We're an hour into up. this, and you, you, you retarded. These he's cigars. A, he's still a special thing here. today. He's all right. I know you rode the short bus, but are you? Oh uh, no, no! My mom drove the short bus and that you rode. rode. It. No, but I. No, and you rode. rode it. No. Did I say anything factually inaccurate? Did I say anything factually inaccurate? No. She did. I rode the short bus. There you go. There you go. I rode the short bus. Make that clip. I rode the short bus. All right. Shut up. Uh, I'm just. I see two. What was that? What? What was that? Uh oh. The crowd's agreeing. The driver's right here. Yep. I, I you heard drove, you I, drove the short bus. I heard somebody's name. And I had to ride it. My mother's here, by the way. Yeah. I heard somebody's oh name. Gosh. Hey, mom, come over here on mic. This is where she breaks come the on, news on, to mom. you. Come on, this mom. This is where she breaks the news to come you on. that you never actually Ron's had to wear mom. to ride it. <laughs> you, you, you never you had, had to ride the short bus no. because the you school were wanted to you to. No. <laughs> come on, mom. <laughs> That'd be so fucking heartbreaking. <laughs> Why not? No, no, I had to drive you. There you go, right there. So call. she has to drive. Right <laughs> 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 you gotta get closer. You gotta get right what on the you mic. Want me to say? What did you drive? We want you to say that he actually had to drive to ride the bus. She drove a get school bus. Yes, I drove a school bus. Did you drive for a living? Hold on. Which is fucking the absolutely amazing. Bus. It was the short bus. Oh! And, hold on. Did Ron ride the short bus to school? Yes. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you very much. I, I drove for a private Christian school, but then I dropped him off at the public school, the elementary So he okay. was taken to school oh, see, in the so, short bus. So yeah. these but are, I wasn't these out are there fa- for that reason. These are facts that you leave out. Damn. Oh. This is kind of kind of depressing. It wasn't even right, for the I'm same school she was driving for. <laughs> You were that retarded. I had to drop you off. You got on the wrong bus? It was a private school bus. Thanks, Mom. Appreciate it. Oh, Oh, shit. Oh, you got to love the brotherly love. You got to put it out there. Love you, brother. Got to put it out there. (laughs) So, other than that, where were we? Um, uh, Favorite. So, after actually... um, doing a little bit of reading the my favorite scene would be when they're in the actual arena the very first time yes. oh yeah right um and 
one, the, that whole scene there is uh, when they don't realize, like, what they're actually getting into. Right. You know? Um, but when you see the two paintings of the brothers. Yes. 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 Right? <laughs> on the fucking wall. Um, James Heffernan's brother. Kevin Heffernan's brother. Kevin Heffernan. James. Painted those. Yes. Bridges. Really? Yep. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he's a, uh art historian and art professor. Yeah. Yeah. So he actually painted those pictures there. Yeah. After after I after I was reading up on some stuff, he he his brother painted those pictures there, and shit for it. Really? Yeah. I didn't so know that. so for me, like that portion there was actually brilliant. And that's actually cool. they're still hanging in the Broken Lizard office. And right also, now. yes, they are. Yes, that's they the, are. the the uh, the guy that owned the brewery, the one that they were going against, the, yes. the big guy. Wasn't he actually in the movie Dust Boot? Yes. Hence why the that's joke. what I thought. I yeah. had oh. experiences. Yes. Yeah. I've, oh yeah. What, what one cool part? I. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm not taking a fucking drink. No, so you're go good. fuck yourself. Wall out. All right. Uh, I think that was specifically directed at me. Schneedelwissen? Oh, Schneedelweissen? Yes, wait, yes. Dick right. polisher. It, yeah. Cock jerking. Yeah. <laughs> it means cock jerking. Oh, my God. No, it actually means dick polisher. The, Dick yeah. polisher, cock jerking. Yes. It's all yes. the same. It's yeah, yeah. That's what that's what that means. It reminds me that. of Fink and his fucking frogs. So Schneider Schneider was the guy that they went to Munich was, to meet up with. Yeah, yeah. that was like their CIA yeah. fucking handler. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's what they was. Was. <laughs> was. Come with me now if you want to live. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you had that going on, and Ron, you did take yours, right? Yeah, no, I'd say basically the uh, scene when they're training in the first, in the yes. little garage, yes, they, setting yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I, they if I handle a the other, the other thing beer. was just Barry and that, hub, that sex scene and everything else where he says, I'm drunk, you're, you're drunk, drunk, everybody's right, drunk. <laughs> I mean, that scene was kind of funny, but yeah, that, that would be my favorite scene. Yeah, and Chase that shit. had just abandoned us. Just walked away. Did he? <laughs> I think he's breaking the seal. He's broken the seal. He gives us the finger. He's broken the seal. So... So While I pulled that Chase shit off. is not here, I go ahead and say we vote for Chase to have a punishment shot. Yes, we do. He didn't excuse himself. That's twice now. All right. So all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed say nay. Nay. What? Oh, oh, no. no. How can you do I don't know why I did that. That's it. All, sorry. Punishment. All, oh, yes. All, all in favor of Ron taking a punishment. Aye. 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 Say aye. 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 All opposed? Nay. All right, you <laughs> lost. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I'm chugging another beer. You knucklehead. So in college, after I saw this movie, we were, uh, me and some of my uh, friends were at McAdoo's. We were having pictures of Blue Moon. McAdoo? McAdoo? McAdoo's? As opposed to McAdoo? You know the restaurant? I've heard of it. Okay. But uh, we have having pictures of Blue Moon, and I look over this fat chick, and I'm like, damn, she's looking good now. And my friends look at me like, Brian, I was like, what'd you say? I'm like, you guys are fucking idiots. <laughs> Thanks for playing along. I'm leaving. <laughs> that, I think. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm sorry. There is nothing wrong with that at all. No. I have thrown that myself on the hand grenade more than I can count. Times. <laughs> okay. So it is fine. It is acceptable. No. We pulled into Australia. <laughs> and. The uh, the the one bar that was in uh, is either Darwin or Brisbane. I can't remember which one it was. Brisbane, yeah, Port. Um, there's one fucking bar that's in this town, and so all it was three of us, three three ships that pulled in there, and we all pulled in at the same fucking time, right? And so it's basically a fucking a cock fest, pretty much at the bar, and gotta go to Sydney. I yeah. got I got sh- I got fucking. Dude. And my, I'm still talking. Put your fucking beer down. We're good. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead. No, and chug, I'm, gonna I'm chug still my beer. fucking talking. Well, I gotta chug this damn beer. Do you can wait till I'm fucking done. All right, hurry up. That's a half a beer. It was a finishing of a beer. It is. Yeah. So I'm so finishing my beer. We're all in the fucking barn. I get shit faced, right? My dumbass don't fucking dance. <laughs> my dumbass is dancing, and all of a sudden I hear a, a smack. I'm, I look around on my other shoulder, around my shoulder. Very pretty fucking woman. <laughs> yes. Dim right. light. Dim so, light. You know, so, I keep, so I keep dancing. And shit. I feel another one. I look over and she's just laughing. And I look over again. And I look over my other shoulder. And it's not the same woman. But it's somebody that knew. Like my beer goggles were, I think just starting to get oh. put on at this point in time. 
And I was like, oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I literally, I fell on the fucking floor. I crawled to the fucking bar. I hugged the fucking bar. I was like, don't let him take me. <laughs> don't let him take me. Huh? Oh, this was in uh, 2000. By the way, uh, we voted you have to chug a beer. Shit, this was in fucking 2003. Uh-huh. All right. Uh, no, you got to wait. You uh -oh. and I worked together. No, 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 no. No, no. no. I was married in 2004. Yeah, yeah. This was in the beginning. Oh, the beginning of 2003. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wait, you're out. So here's a beer. Oh. Who oh, did oh, that? Oh, oh, that's party foul. That is a party foul. Oh. What did you do? That is absolutely a party foul. <laughs> That's two chugs right there. Well, I'm going to chug my beer. Yeah. You got to finish both those halves that are in front I of didn't you. know that was wrapped around anything. That's, That's failure oh to be aware God, of your surroundings. That was warm. All the beer is fucking warm yeah. right now, bro. Oh. Here's a beer. There you go. Oh. Come on. Chug it. As chug it. it drips all <laughs> in his cock. <laughs> chug it. All down wow. his leg. Chug. 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 There you go. Oh, there there you you now finish the other one for the party foul. You got one more. You got that porter to drink. Ugh. <laughs> With it, flies all over heavy. it. That is heavy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's light, but it's heavy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a slow chug. Come on, I just took it's mine down in like heavy. three seconds. Open your throat. He you doesn't have to do that. Yeah, I'm not pl <laughs> practicing that. <laughs> do you want to cut my balls? <laughs> not really. Oh, shit. He's not. <laughs> did you know that's what I, said? I did. It just caught on. <laughs> oh, you just told a Ron. I did. Yeah. I did. <laughs> <laughs> he needs more practice. You got it. You got it. You got Good it. Good job. <laughs> now pick up your mess. We don't leave our host trashed. Yeah, you just left. This is a, a pile of stuff we're going to put over there. We? Oh, we'll clean it up. Don't worry. All right, so what do you mean? Not all my trash. <laughs> all right, back to the movie. Okay. Um, so we were saying, uh, Ragnar, you've seen four Broken Lizard films? Three. Sorry, Super Troopers? Super Troopers, this Club one, Red, and uh, Club Club Fest. Okay. I Ron, didn't, I, I didn't you know Super Troopers 2 and... The uh, Quasimodo came out. I've yet. seen Puddle Cruisers. Not Quasimodo. I saw oh, Puddle Cruisers Quasi. just Quasi. recently because you let me borrow it. I saw Super Troopers 1 and 2. I've seen Club Dread, Beer Fest, Slam and Salmon, and Quasi is the only one I haven't seen. Okay. I so, haven't seen Quasi. Quasi? Quasi, Quasi. Is it Quasi like or Quasi? Quasimodo. Okay, Quasi. Quasi. Uh, I, I haven't seen that one. So yet. how would you rate the films? From best to worst? Uh, I would say, let's see. <laughs> I'd say Club Dread, Beer Fest... Super Troopers, Super Trooper, no, Super Troopers 2, Super Troopers, Slam and Salmon, and then Puddle Cruiser. Okay? Yeah. Did that's, you say that's Super Troopers, rank. Super Troopers 2, and Super Troopers? No, no I meant no. to correct myself. He okay, himself. I was he like, wait, himself. wait the fuck, hold on a minute. Super <laughs> Troopers right. isn't my favorite. I don't know why everybody loves it really? so much. Really? I'm, I'm kind of surprised you don't I like it that much. No, I don't mind it, but seen? it's not like hilarious. Do you understand? Beer Fest made me laugh more than anything. Yeah, but do you know like the area of Vermont? No, that's yeah. the thing. That's probably yeah. why I didn't laugh as well. Oh yeah, because it's. Serious? Hold on. <laughs> Are you? Did you just puke? No, this motherfucker has only seen Beer Fest. Do you, what? what? <laughs> you never seen Club Dread. You never seen Super Troopers. Why are you in the show? Because y'all told me to be here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a thirteen year old preview best. Y'all didn't break. ask. I just showed up. That's right. That's how it is every. Hey, -o. <laughs> like motherfucking crabs. He said, "Are you ready?" I'm like, "Nope, let's do it." Right. So I what, even asked everyone today, "Is everyone ready?" That's right. All right. So, and what is your nothing. favorite? <laughs> I answered you. Answer you. You did. Yeah. I was here half an hour early. I know. It's because you're awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, what's your favorite broken leather film? Uh, I guess it would be Beer Fest. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, the first one you saw. <laughs> All right, Goop, what, what's your rating? I, what's I, your, I, I don't think we got Ragnar's rating. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Super Troopers, Beer Fest by uh, Cunt Hair, and then uh, Club Drink. Okay. So all top right. three? Okay. Yeah. And There's a fourth one. Oh, he, I, I, I thought, thought we were just ranking all of them. Uh, by, the one okay, so seen. fourth one by preview, I would say fucking Quasi. You can't okay. go by preview. You can't. If you haven't seen it. <laughs> he asked. You can't go by preview. I wanted he to ask. ask. I wanted to ask. You're wrong. I see his thoughts. You're wrong. Was Quasi all right? He's wrong. Was, no, Quasi, was okay. Quasi good? It's okay. 
It's all right. It's supposed I to be like a Monty Python ripoff. Super rip Troopers too, it? so yeah. I can't say. Yeah. All right, uh, and now, Goot, how many uh, Broken Leather films have you seen? I've seen them all, man. I'm all with you, brother. Seven. I love all right, them yes. all, man. They're all, all right. a special place in my heart. Yes, and so what is your rankings for uh, uh, Broken Leather films? So from best to worst, from my number one is Beer Fest. The, uh, the, the script, the comedy woven yeah. in, the storyline, it's all fucking amazing. I watch this movie every year. Mm-hmm. Um, number two is Club Dread. I, I fucking love that movie. The Who Done It. It was that movie came out way before its time. I mean, it would be that is true. It'd yeah, be much more popular true. now if it came out now. Uh, number three is Super Troopers. Four Club Dread. Five Super Troopers Two. Next would be Quasi. Then last Puddle. Puddle, the Puddle, Cru- Puddle Cruisers. Yeah, Puddle okay. Cruisers has to be the last one. It's it's it's. I understand that it got them. You know, they started with that, but yeah. it just wasn't the funniest in my opinion. Yeah, no, I was actually all. bored of it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can respect. Yeah, it. I'm, I'm not playing. Like, you know, Puddle Cruisers is amazing. I already sucked their dick. No, <laughs> <I> mean, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but you got to pay homage to where it started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be respectful. Um, it's just to me the fact that Super Troopers remains one of their like all time classics compared to all the yeah. other ones. I, I don't know. I, I right, think, think Beer about Fest. It, this is the that's Beer the Fest movie, is better than Super Troopers. That's the movie that got really everybody introduced to that. To Broken Lizard, basically. Yes. Yeah. That is gonna be the one that's the soft spot. Yeah. The soft spot in a lot yeah. of people's hearts. Um, well, I right. think because like when Super Troopers came out, I think for a lot of people you didn't realize that it was. Um, the the name brand of Broken Lizard. Yes, you know they didn't so, know that they were a comedy. Trip. Yeah, yes. So when you hear about, I think, um, uh, like Super Troopers and then Super Troopers Two, right, and then Beer Fest, you know, you don't and you, you see all of the characters, all the people still in this movie and all of these movies, but you don't understand. But I don't think you see like the whole trope. The entire concept of the company that they are. Yeah, yeah. You know, just like uh, Happy Madison. Yep. You know, is I, I think that one there for me is like the best example to give. But Happy Madison, every one of their films is a different universe altogether. No, no it Happy is. Madison. No, it is. They're no, going to become a grandma's boy, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And they also did uh, the Billy Madison and uh, Happy Gilmore. Yeah, correct. Yes. But but they have literally the same people. Yeah. In their movies, he has the same people in his movies. True, for the most part, eh, on and off. You yeah, know, yeah, I'll say on and off, depending on whatever their fucking schedules. But are. they are Adam Sandler films that he happens to have Produced. his friends in. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but these ones. Well, are... see, I think I think of the of of the Club Dread people right as their friends. They hang like. They, oh, they, they absolutely are. You they know, they're in the same like friend level. Like I would say is like. Adam Sandler and his, but, the but just is, a different. Well, that's why. That's why I think of the. When you think of Happy Madison, so Happy Madison uh, films are an Adam Sandler company. Yeah. First and foremost, that's what they are. Every film that's made underneath it, it's his direction. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's his fucking yeah. say. Fun, you know, first and foremost, versus the Broken Lizard, it is a group project. It isn't Jay taking the lead. It isn't Kevin taking the lead. It isn't. Uh, yeah, Steve taking the lead. No, it is. That's a the big. Di- that would be the big difference. Yeah. Well, so you know, then you have to think about the Judd Apatow group. I mean, they, that's again, a group of friends right there. No, that, that is Judd Apatow. Uh, I know. I wouldn't even say Judd Apatow. Apatow. You got Franco. You got Seth Rogen. You got uh, again, Danny McBride. And you have Judd Ap- That's Judd Apatow with all his buddies. Yeah. You have Seth. Um, Seth McFarland. I'm McFarland, but Seth, Seth uh, Rogen. Rogen. Yeah. With all his buddies. Um, yeah, it's it's what they are. But you have Danny McBride. Yeah, you know the, the stuff that he does. He isn't including Seth or fucking Jay or any of them. No, he is doing his own fucking shit. Yeah. Um, when Seth is doing stuff, he's not including all his buddies. No, he's doing his own fucking shit. Um, versus when each any of them, even uh, there's a TV show currently going on with Kevin Heffernan and Steve LeMay as the two fucking leads. To come FD. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's funny. It's yes. Funny. It's yes, funny. it's very well, good. Who, yes. Who's directing the future pod, uh, Podfest? Um, so we knows? Did, nothing, nothing's in stone yet. Okay. All right. Um, because Kevin Hefferman did his first directorial debut with uh, Slam and Salmon. Yes. With uh, the Broken Lizard And then Lizard he also group. did uh, Quasi. He did Quasi, All right. Yes. So, I mean, it's, it's, 
Oh, so he did direct Quasi. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Jay is not like the leader of the. He's the de facto. Yeah. We'll say leader of the group. Well, I think so he's got more of the directorial efforts because he's also he's also done other films other than Broken Wizard. It's true, but they both work w- so well together. Yeah. Like they'll be doing shoots. Yeah. And like he'll be like right there watching Kevin, and they'll do the first take, and he'll be like. He, Jay be like, yeah, and Kevin looking at be like, yeah, let's do it again. Yeah, so yeah. They, they both work in like tandem together. They're like a yeah. symbiote together. Yep. Yeah. So that's the thing. I I don't feel that any of these other groups that we mentioned, except for Monty, are true, you know, groups combined efforts. Yeah. They had, they have clearly defined a leaders who then decide to throw in their buddies. Yeah. Versus this one, this is a group, a true group of friends that share different roles, share different. You know, no no one person is the lead. Yeah. No one person is the core of the film. Yeah. All right. It is a a, a, a group effort. Like an yeah. amoeba decision. Yeah. Chase, are you okay? Chase is dying. No, he's done. <laughs> you that drunk? <laughs> yes, he's that drunk. He's not. Hey, good thing we got Crystal to drive your ass home. Right. Nope. Uh oh. <laughs> so you guys know uh, Jurgen. Uh, Talk now from Gladiator. I, right, I, yeah. I don't, I don't know. You said it correctly. It's good. Okay, cool. Um, oh, he was in a lot of fucking movies. He was, he was. Yeah. So when he's in, when he, when they're in the sub, right, and you know they're all fucking doing their thing and whatnot. Um, and he says he's, you know, he's been here before, so he, he's from nervous. Das Boot. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, from Das Boot in '81. Yes. yes. Yep. Yeah. 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 So that was, that was a cool little and fucking this throwback. Also, they so. A cool little throwback, um, a cool little understanding. Wait, is that the Baron or the other guy? No, uh, no that's a big guy. Uh, the guy who, uh, yeah, he, yeah, he was actually, he was actually, the, uh, uh, he was one of the friends in Gladiator with Russell Crowe. The big guy, no, right? the, the big guy who, no, 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 Baron no. Van Wolfhausen. No, you're yeah. thinking about, no, you're thinking about different. the other one. Oh, okay, the big who guy fucks up the pinball machine. Yes, that yeah, guy. No, no, that I'm making sure. Huh? The big guy. That's his name. Well, he he was in a lot of movies. I, I no, see, no, no, he's no, talking he, about Gladiator. Yeah, Ragnar no, said okay. his name correctly from Gladiator. Yeah, that's the name I, I recognize from Gladiator. Yeah. Okay, but then they what's the Baron? So I'm making sure we're all straight. Baron oh. is from the das Baron Boot. is from Das Boot. He yes. was also in a lot of he, yes. was in, he was also in the Da Vinci Code. I, yes. I remember yes. him no. being. He's also so when when they were writing the script, they were writing the German lines the way phonetically, the way we would imagine a German saying certain things. Yes. Yeah. All right. The Baron, you know, that actor, he's like, this is, I don't know this word. What, what, what is this word? <laughs> he's like, no, no, we, this is how we want you to say it. But this is not how I say it. But this is how we imagine a German would say it. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, shh, nigga. No, um, he's like, this is not how I would say it. But, but tell you way, and he'd come and he'd deliver the line the way they wrote it and just fucking nail it. Nail all the fucking part. Yeah. But coming from a serious, like, yes. profile he's come yeah. from. Because he, he was that, always a the dramatic actor. Yeah. He wanted to do comedy. He, he wanted to do a comedic uh, yeah. you know, role. And so he loved this idea. All right, Stu, so what is your uh, ranking? We were fucking hard recording. That's why I was giving you shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is... <laughs> Fuck. That, that sounded like a wet <laughs> fart on the mic. Seriously? <laughs> hold it, hold it. Spicy boner! Oh! Oh! There we go. Oh, we appreciate you, Ron. Uh, all right, finish that beer that's right beside you there, buddy. Yeah. Chug it, chug it, master. Yeah. Gee. Ah! All right, that's a spicy boner. You got to love a warm beer. I know it's warm. Yeah, it is. And it's thick. <laughs> like semen. But it's not, it's he's, not. he's so used to it. God damn, good job. Well done, Ron. Thank you. That was nice. Appreciate he's it. He's used to opening All right, up you're his ranking. throat. Okay. Uh, the Broken Letter Films. I will go. Crystal apparently needs to open up yours more. No, no, I don't think that's really a necessity. No, you sure? Nope. I mean, she said you do. Pretty fucking sure. <laughs> so, it's not a just saying. Maybe that'll help with the snoring. Yeah. Touche. <laughs> <laughs> Open up that airway more. There you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, what's your ranking? All right, Super Troopers, to me, is number one. Okay. Um, just so quotable. It is immediate scenes that meow. jump into my house. Meow. Yeah, right meow. Yeah, right meow. Right meow. How uh, many times is, how, has anyone done that? I do that all the fucking time. I do that I think everybody yeah. does that all the time. Came from right that now. movie, too. Yeah, yes. 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. Uh, bear, bear. Bear fucker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, there's... 
uh, and, the, and the entire film is just uh, quotable. All yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, immediately yeah. takes you to amazing scenes. Um, close second will be Beer Fest. Okay. Um, then Club Dread. Yep. Because I really appreciated them taking that horror comedic element. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and I can understand why that's different people's, you know, number one or higher up on the list. Yeah. Um, then probably Super Troopers 2. Okay. Then uh, Slam and Salmon. Wow, so you put Club Dread down at the bottom. I just said Club Dread above. He's number three. Are you listening? God Somebody damn. Club Dread no, is number he didn't three. Say it, so he's not listening. Oh, no, I thought I, All right, I, I heard it wrong. Shot no, I heard it wrong. Super Trooper. I, 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 Club Dread. I, I, I. You need to go get a beer. There yeah. you go. Oh, oh, we got oh. one ready for you. No, no, no. Do you have one available for Das Boot? Oh, he doesn't. So you're going to drink a pint oh. versus a... Oh, no. There's no. Something, there's something in here. Uh, uh, give me. Uh, uh, no. Let's see how much. Hey. Let's see uh, how much. Give me. Give me. Hold on. Give give me. Me. Pour. There's that, something in the beer you were supposed to pour that. in its entirety into the boot? Oh. Fucking oh, no. Was that from the... No, that was the second one. No, 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 okay. no, no. No, that was before. All right. I'll, uh, we'll allow that. We'll allow that. That's enough. We'll allow that. Is that half? It, it, once it's the head settles, it will be. And once the head settles, it's like... <laughs> no, what's that? It's already at a third right now, so I would say. I, I just want to say, Ragnar, you look around. fantastic with your your pretty pink headphones. Thank you. <laughs> I know. It's <laughs> <That's laughs> amazing. All right, go ahead. All right. So, so it. um, <laughs> two. it looks like somebody you paid three dollars for a DJ. Lamb and salmon. <laughs> then I'm more Wazzy. than that bitch. All right. <laughs> How does the hand job cost more than a BJ? <laughs> It's finesse, I guess? I don't know. No, because he's looking in your eyes while you're oh, okay. <laughs> It's all about eye contact. Um, I feel like both of those are all then, about uh, eye contact. Puddle you know? Well, I don't Puddle know. Puddle Cruiser is going to be last. Yes. Yeah. But if I feel you're scared it. to go give a fucking BJ, you don't want to look. On it. Um, <laughs> but a hand job is there, like, uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, where, yeah. Where they're sitting around the track, and that one bitch is fucking running. Yeah. And Jay's character goes to chase after it. He's like... Uh, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it, it's understandable fucking yeah, humor. It yeah, is. Yeah. Um, it, so, but the, yeah, that would be my order. Okay. What the fuck? Well, do you, <clears throat> do you guys feel like we're ready for our pint reviews? I don't, I don't feel I don't like we are. I don't think so. I don't feel like we are. All right. So where do you feel like we're at? Where do you want to talk um, about? So I, 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 I think we are at the point where, all right. So we've Where Ron are, drinks his punishment shot? Yeah. Well, that too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I think we we've covered a lot about two thirds of the movie, so I think we are at the point where like they actually get back the actual, to fucking Germany, the event, yes, yeah. and they are trying to figure out where they need to fucking go. Yeah, that was fantastic. Yes, the drunk recall. Yes, yeah. drunken recall. Yes, in Maxim magazine from right? Fink. Yeah, he's been published in Maxim magazine. E equals M C hammered. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great line. Great fucking line. Yes. That, well, that be, would be a Maxim fucking article. Type. It yes. would be. Especially, I, I mean, I know we've all fucking read Maxim. Yeah. You know, at some point in our fucking lives. And they have yeah. the re- most. No. Nope. What? <laughs> Maxim Wait. may not have existed even when he was, uh, you know, in that age. No. No, I've just never read Fuck, anything out of it. Man. I just never read anything out of him. <laughs> like, you never, I, not buy. But you just never picked one up. Drink your had. fucking drink. All right, I'm working on it. All right, Come here on, we go. pussy. Don't talk <laughs> shit. Don't talk <laughs> shit. You can't even fucking chug a beer. You just did. What is your response? <laughs> drink faster. That's yeah, too go. slow. You got more beer than your fucking beard than you did in your mouth. <sighs> now that's warm. Jesus. Ugh. All right. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about the event. Yeah. Fresh from the tap. <laughs> we still got one more beer left. Somebody's got to chug He has out. no idea what you said. He, on it. he has no clue what you said. <laughs> but he agreed to it. Just yep. like always. Uh, Whoever the beer is like three quarters drunk, that's in that cup, needs to finish it. I don't know whose that is. That's Chase's uh, probably. It's, no, it's Boogie. Uh, boogie. Boogie Boogie. Boogie Boogie. Is that Boogie Nights? Boogie? Ho- oh, no. I think it's Boogie. It's, it's bo- yeah, uh, boogie, water. boogie Water. Boogie Water. Is it Boogie or Boogie? Boogie. Like, oh, you're so fucking Boogie. Boogie. 
No, no it's, it's not. We're dance water. It's like you fancy fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> what are you fucking kicking rocks at each other? No, he started I moved, it. I moved my chair. Because they're fucking immature. They can't fucking contain fucking themselves. Fucking children. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> what did, so, no, so seriously, what did you think of the event altogether? Especially the uh, the German dude that was actually in Super Troopers. I thought that he was a good announcer. I thought yeah, he was fun MC, to watch. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. I, I love the fact that um, when, going back to the very beginning of the movie, and we, I think we already talked about it, yeah. was um, the fact that all most of the, three, three of the characters, I'm sorry, three of the characters were in the underground tunnel yeah. going into Secret Beer yes, Fest. The yeah. cameos. And shit, yeah, and they all played different characters. You wouldn't have known that they were there unless you actually looked it up. Yep. You know? And they I think, even said that during the um, uh, the commentary yep. that they got calls from the credit department. All right, who played, the, you know, uh, oh, no the shit. blind chic? That, that, that was Jay. Really? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, all right. That's and amazing, he, even though there's no yeah. line spoken. No, there's no. You nothing. played the mime with the dick? Oh, that was Steve. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Miss you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Miss you. Yeah. I'm glad they, that dude was they fucking brought hilarious. those characters back when they went back into yeah, exactly. yeah, to go find the fucking, yeah. to, to recall. Now, if you had to you pick know? a team that, uh, the, the opposite team, which team would you have liked the best compared to the Beer Fest? Team? Iceland. Oh, Iceland. they were sexy bitches. Yeah, yeah. they were. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's my yours? favorite team. All right. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Ireland. Irish. Yeah, that's the same. I'd go England. The the, the cohesion they had together yeah, when they, they, they spoke to each other. See, you were not a drunk, you sneaky bastards. Yeah, it's a toss-up between England and Ireland. <laughs> yeah. It really is. It would have been really cool if they had Vinnie Jones for the England to be a part of that. Oh, that oh, would have been, been fucking From hilarious. Smash. That would have been perfect. <laughs> Cause I, cause you wouldn't have been able to understand a word he fucking said. Yes. Except him fucking opening the beer bottles with his fucking eyelids. Yes. yes. Fucking yes. gypsies. And shit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or no. they had um, uh, Brad Pitt as one of the fucking English. Oh, as a little cameo <laughs> in there. Yeah. That would have been yeah. funny. That would have been good. That would have been really fucking good. Oh, hell yeah. Do you feel better, Chase? I do. Good. <laughs> I just got assaulted. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to check that, Jay, uh, Chase. So, 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 it's okay. Chinga. It's GoPro. It's meant to be beaten up a little yeah. bit. Relax. That's why they call it GoPro. He's very pale right Relax. now. Hey, but you know what? This wind feels Jay, nice. It does. It's My nice. clip broke the fall of your camera, so you're okay. Are you okay? Did you say your clip broke the fall of his camera? We didn't yeah, see it. It's very big. Yeah, no, it's yeah, it, all times size bigger than you. Just... Good God. Sorry, Crystal, we didn't see that. He doesn't get pegged. He gets full. That's another fucking party <laughs> Are you okay? What are you doing over there? I have ceviche all over my fucking arm. Jesus. It tastes really good. Oh. That's why we sit you two together. <laughs> this is the first time you're this supposed happened. to sure. control him. <laughs> you're supposed to. All right, guys, we'll be right back. God. All right, we are back with the show as a thunderstorm is about to roll in, so we're going to go ahead and be wrapping up here soon. Why? Man. I want to be struck by lightning. Yeah, I don't. I don't want my gear shut up. I want to have a drink on Why? It's No, it's not your gear. It's our gear. Yes, that's, that's true. That's our gear. Our bitch. gear. No, that's true. Yes, You're right. Mom, this is ours. <laughs> You're like, my fucking road character. Yes, yes. No, fuck you. This is our fucking... All right, so let's go ahead and do our pint reviews for the movie. Yes. <sighs> Woo! Okay. So who's gonna start first? Prank reviews for the movie. Okay. I think you. Yeah, go ahead. Do we? Do we? Do we? Do it. All right. So what I think for enjoyment for this, I would probably give this about four pints. This is this is a funny comedy. I actually enjoyed this a lot. I had a great time with it. I was actually very impressed with how much I laughed at this movie after only seeing it two times because I saw it when it first came out and then seeing Adal doing it for the show. I actually really enjoyed this. I thought this was a funny comedy. It's a stupid comedy. It's one yes. of the, it's 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 like your whole genre that you do in this year for the stupid comedies that you love to love. This is a funny movie. I, I had so much fun with this. The Oktoberfest, the beer, the drinking, uh, the whole comedy troupe knocked it out of the park with this one. So, but critically, I'd probably give this about a three. Okay. I think they did a good job with this for a comedy. This is a very well done comedy. I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, there, there really wasn't any like slow dragging scenes. This actually was just keeping you laugh most of the time. 
Landfill was fucking hilarious. I love Landfill and his brother that took over. I thought that was genius in how they replaced him with his brother after he died. This is a great movie. So a four and a three. This is this is funny. I, I really enjoyed Beer Fest. I was very happy with this. So that is my pint review for this. So I'm going to hand it off to Ragnar. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, oh, oh my shit. skirt went up. <laughs> You're wearing a skirt? The breeze went through. <laughs> Check on the hey ball. now. <laughs> You're hey an all star. Get hey the game on. Oh, shit. Play. Uh, so, all right, so. Don't fight. How did that God. fit? Always huh? interrupt. Uh, when he did his. Uh huh? Mo? Always interrupt. He missed all that, man. You didn't listen. And you were just fucking clueless like listen. a son of a bitch. Bullshit. I was participating already, and then he You were not. Like, all right, so what's your pie reviews? <sighs> all right, critic uh, yeah, enjoyment. Yes. We're going to go with four and a half on this one. Um, I've seen it multiple times. It's it, it's funny. Crystal, Every look at fucking... that ass behind you. I know. I saw they okay. both of them are really nice asses. <laughs> Is it a big dump truck of an ass? <laughs> Donkeys. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> big dump truck of an ass. I don't know if he's a dump truck. This feels really good. You don't good. know if he has a dump truck of an ass? No. I don't know what it's considered big for a donkey ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, four and a half. Um, I don't, I've seen it multiple times, and it's fucking, it continuously gets funny every time I see it. Um, I don't really feel like there's a bunch of fucking slow parts in it. I think yeah. each one has its own fucking storyline. Yes. You know? I think uh, maybe the slowest part of the movie may have been when they hit their fucking uh, rock bottom. Yeah. When they're training. Yeah. I think that may have been the slowest part, but that would probably be about it. Yeah. Um, critically, I'd give them... Oh, shit. It's either four and four and a quarter. I'm going to give it a four. Okay. I'm going to give it four... Because it's it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't see much wrong with it. Yes. You know, um, and yeah, it's. I don't know why. If you haven't seen Beer Fest, I, I don't know why you haven't. Would you? So you definitely recommend this. If oh hold no. on, question. What that we didn't address? When did we all first see Beer Fest? Uh, Back when it came out. Uh, I saw it no. on uh, I saw it on Blu-ray when it came out. When it first came out on Blu-ray, I saw the unrated cut. Okay. Uh, basically, right when it came out on Blu-ray. So, uh, oh fuck. So say that in your review. I didn't see this until <laughs> like years after it came out. I was gone. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I definitely did not see this when it first came out. I probably saw, bringing a couple years after it was already out. Okay. Um, already out on uh, TV. Okay. And shit. So, Stoop? Uh, I saw it in theaters. Oh, really? Yeah. I was such a huge fan of Did you see Super Troopers also? Um, in theaters, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, such a huge, you know, fan. So, yeah, uh, Super Troopers was my first Broken Lizard film. Absolutely. Uh, but I heard such great fucking things, some good hype about it. And I saw it in fucking theaters, and I Crystal. immediately fell in love with the fucking, with the guys. Uh, they thought they did wonderful. Um, and then I've seen each film successively after them within the first week of it being released, whether it's on, you know, straight to DVD or, um, you know, a streaming or whatever the case might be, within the first week to do it, because I want to support them uh, continue to make films. Yeah. But they may not be, always be, you know, out the park fucking success. Not everything's a fucking winner. No. Yeah. yeah. But I want to support them to keep fucking trying, um, and... I love it. I really do. Uh, my reviews for the film. Enjoyment for Beer Fest, probably four and a quarter. Um, I've seen this more times than I could probably fucking count yeah. over my, over time. Um, it's one of the rare films that I've watched with the commentary multiple times. And they have two different commentaries on this one. Yes. Yeah. It's only four, really. Yeah. Yeah. But the original, you know. yeah, the original DVD <laughs> came with two, um, and which was, it was weird actually digging through my fucking collection, 
And because I have a bunch of Broken Lizard films, you know, on DVDs yeah. over the years, like that. Because nowadays, when we're watching films, I'm most of the time I'm just streaming them and shit like that. Exactly. I'm like, you know what? No, I want to fucking walk back in time. <laughs> I go down and look at my fucking collection. I'm like, I did not even remember the last time I put a DVD, let alone a fucking Blu-ray, a DVD in my fucking That's system. That's been a while. I did the same yes. thing. I did DVD. Like, this is yeah. fucking weird, but it feels right. It does. For some movies, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> um, just like VHS movies. It's like there's certain mm-hmm. things that just, it feels right on that format. Who the, do you still own a VHS player? I do. I, I do. do. You really? Yeah, I do as I well. Do. Really? Yes. yes. No shit. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, it, it wow. just, it's weird, the certain films that just... Do, yeah. do you remember the combos yes. when they came out? Yes. The yeah. DVD VHS yes. players and shit when they came Scary, out? Scary, man. DVD VHS like players. Was one of those. Like, yeah. God. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, b- I bought that when, uh, shit. We had like Hell, six when I was still in the fucking Navy. Yeah. Yeah, I think we had like six of those. When I first fucking got in. Yeah. When yeah. I first joined the fucking Navy. Yeah, I remember like... like the um, first fucking paycheck you get to your barracks. You know, you want to get everything for your fucking room. Yep. yep. You know? So, like, <laughs> you, you either, you're either roomed with a handful of fucking guys and you all pitch in, or you room by yourself or somebody yeah. else. Yeah. You know? And so we all pitched in to buy, like, a fucking a TV and a DVD uh, VHS player. Because back in fucking 2001... Yep. You know, you still had fucking DVDs and fucking VHS yes. players. Fucking box TVs. Yeah, I remember when DVDs. Box TVs, <laughs> fuck yes. Yeah, but I remember when DVDs came CRT out. Tubes, you had to flip yep. the movie. Yep. Remember that? You had to flip the disc for some reason. Oh, that, that was in the, the early, 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 That shit always pissed me off. I never knew what side was I remember my Goodfellas no, right DVD. There. You had to flip yeah, it. But I was like, like damn. Is it say that this side is what it is, so you put it down, or is it this side that is what it is if it's label up? No, it said, all right, side A or B. B. No, you got side A or side B. But the labels were always done, all right, if you want to watch it, if you want to watch the film, this side up. Yes. If you want to watch that it, was I never side said that. I had side, side one up. and side two, or yes. side A and so side, side B, one, but never, side you know, one side one, side this, a, side a, a, this side, side, no, one and side A. Usually side A or side one was the movie. Yes. yes. Side so, two or side B features. were the special features. But the label would be reversed yeah. because they're reading it from below, not reading from above. Yeah. All right, so the label's reversed. I don't know. I still have a few of them, and they, they still piss me off. I yeah. refuse to even watch right, them because, because of it. You're special. <laughs> that okay. would explain why you haven't seen a lot of movies. All right, so you got your reviews in? <laughs> um, I didn't have my critical yet. Yeah, go ahead. Um, critical, I'd probably give this a strong, very strong four. Four. Yes. Okay. A very strong there we go. four. There are yes, there is room for improvement. Yes. Here and there. Um, overall, it was weird. It was uh, they were jarring to see the stock footage, but it also kind of worked with the film that they were making. Um, but it, it definitely lowers the quality in certain areas. I just want to draw um, some attention real quick. Do do we notice where all of our women are? Mine. <laughs> They're checking out the goats. <laughs> Mine Soccer. has abandoned me. <laughs> so Mine was like, you're on your own. own. It's too hot. Mine's right, so you, a, th- a four. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 it's a very, very strong. I would have never seen That's very rare for a comedy, too. That's uh. But really? Like the, there's not no. much I would change about this film. No, I, I, I completely understand. I don't you. see that rare. No. For comedies, yeah. Comedies uh, for a critical no. score. This I bet you I can name... 10 off the top of my head that you would give a 4 or above comedy. No, no, no. What is a comedy you would Ooh. give a 5 for a critical? That'll take me a while. Blazing yeah. Saddles? Blazing that Saddles, would easy. Take me a while. Blazing Saddles? Ted. Because we were in. Po- we, when, we when we did that episode, when we did that episode, we never so gave. Blazing Saddles. That is, a per- that is perfection. That is a master class in comedy. It is, but it is a master class in critical film. Yeah. Uh. It's it's not shittily made. Okay. It's meta. It's the self-aware. End, the end scene alone, it was funny as hell, but it takes away from the five man. The end okay. scene alone. All right. All right. It's like, okay, this is, they ran out of ideas what we're going to do. Oh, we're just going to run around the fucking stunt line. All right. It's, it's, yeah, but it kind of fucking works. fit. It, it, it works. really fit. I'm not taking it away. It's still funny, still enjoyable, but critically, is that the right fucking... I think... So, that one there, I think it really took (laughs) tropes off of History of the World. It did. It it did. You know? The History of the World, to me, is the weakest out of the Mel Brooks films. And I wholeheartedly disagree. No, I think... 
the history I of the whole, world? What? I wholeheartedly disagree when it comes with to Mel you on Brooks, that. I'm sorry, but a young Frankenstein and Blazing Saddles. Tr- tr- I'm sorry. They, There's more than just those ones. Oh, I, 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 yeah. I understand that, but you I think that them. History of the World has got some good comedy in it. There's great lines in it. But there's some also some dragging moments in it that I didn't care for. So you you're saying that History of the World Part Two is better than History of the World? I've never seen History of the World Part Two, so I can't then say you're anything. You're fucking wrong. Is History of the World Part Two pretty bad? Yes, it's fucking. I have no horrible. idea. I've never seen it. It's trash, my dude. Once I seen it, then I can get could my not opinion. get past the it first is, episode. It's absolute uh, garbage. All right, Goop, uh, what are I'm your? I'm not gonna say it's absolutely garbage. Uh, and uh, get past the first episode. Give them a shot. Could, I, I, we tried. Give them we a tried. Shot. Just I could not tried very get hard it. to give every sh- every are, show a three episode uh, there are rule, but I just couldn't. There are funny bits in each episode. There are. Oh, I'm sure there are. Enjoyable. I know they were trying to fucking play off of the first one and Blazing Saddles a little bit. A little bit. You know, um, yeah, but we, like it just I don't know for for me it just didn't fucking work. All right, Goot, how about you? All right, so enjoyment. This is a five for me. I fucking love nice. this. Oh wow! Like I, it's having the personal touch of actually doing this shit. Like doing some of the beer, pa- um, the beer challenge stuff, the beer Olympics, yeah. the beer fast stuff. You know, doing the upside down fucking monkey chug was right. fucking hard as shit. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. had to have friends to hold us other ways to case we fucking fall off. Because yeah. we're doing our best to concentrate on drinking a beer upside down. It's so different from doing from doing a beer keg. Yeah. It's just fucking different. Yeah. Hey, play, has anybody here ever played beer pong with paddles? Yes. No. You have? Yes. No. no, I have not. Yes. No. That's the time I've had before. And like it, I'm actually pretty fucking good at it, but I, I'm, that's why I'm like Barry. Like, I'm fucking good at any fucking game you put in front of me. I will fucking kick ass at it. Just don't we bring up your fucking game. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's raining. Yeah. When Barry came in the first time into that fucking bar. Oh, my God. In a wrecked yeah. house. That was fucking amazing. I, I wasn't. I gotta be a little drunk. <laughs> yeah, no yeah. Uh, I play better when I'm drunk. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, just uh, goddamn. You're fine. What are it's your okay. hands? I can. What are what? your hands gonna do to You're fucking? Not blocking anything. You have a fucking break. You have a over here. Put the cover over it. Thank you. Jesus Christ. His laptop, he just throws on the fucking ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go I need the plastic cover. I know. Yeah. But yeah, just, I don't know. I watch this movie yearly. I, I, it makes me fucking happy. I yeah. love this fucking movie. Uh, critically, I give it a 4.5. There's okay. a few things I would change with it. It's not a perfect film. But as for our comedy, it's damn near fucking we're close to a perfect yeah, movie. It is. Um, just a cut here to it, I, I would change. But, I mean, overall, but it's not much. Exactly. It's, it's nothing it's so major. It's fucking hard. You know, it's, exactly. so, it's shit that is so fucking minuscule to us. Yes, yes. Yeah. exactly. All right, Chase, you're right, buddy. Oh, when was the first time you saw this movie? It was on DVD, I think, 2008. Okay. okay. All my friends and I, that we, oh, there's 20 of us that did, you know, the Beer Fest competition. We, that's what we all watched it together. We're like, we got to fucking do this. This yeah. is yeah. it. Yeah. So... All right, so first time I saw this was approximately 27 hours ago. Oh Fuck, God. God damn it. Um, it's okay. It's kind of funny. Enjoyment, I'm going to give it a two. <laughs> what? Um, it's just not, not my cup Am of tea. Am I allowed to just fucking clock him yeah, in the jaw go, without go right a punishment? Ahead. Go right, no, go right, right ahead. It's just not my cup of tea. Go right ahead. Um, critically, I think Fuck it was well man. done. It's not my preferred genre, but I will say they, they did it well for what they were going for. Okay. So I'm going to give it a four. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and give Apparently it a four. At least you got that. that going for you. Because um, I do recognize where the skill is. I, I'm going to recognize what they put, the, the effort that was put into it, and how well they produced it. But it's just not something that I personally enjoy. So I'm going to get a, a, a four on right critical, now. but two on, on enjoyment. Okay, personally. all right. So you gave it a two. What would be your go-to comedy then? Ted or Deadpool. Like, I like... One or two. Either one. For me, it's accidental comedy or uh-huh. comedy that appears accidental that just rolls. This was very try-hard to me. Okay. It just feels very forced mm. down your throat, you know. And okay. and I look again. I understand what they're going for, the kind of film that they're making, but it's like 
they took American Pie and they tried to turn it up to 11, but instead of 11, they hit cringe. Yeah. Uh, no, not uh, again, okay. I can understand what they're doing. It's just not my cup of tea. Yeah. And I, okay. I can... Well, I we, we, I mean, that's respectful, every, everybody's but, entitled I mean, to their opinion. Wrong. Yeah. And that's fine. Again, so. I, like, I, I understand <laughs> I'm, not a, I'm not a huge fan of these, but I still recognize where they come from. They have a huge cup. Yes. They have a huge fan base. And not a, I'm not about to say that they're bad. What the flying fuck so. sticks, Batman? I'm trying to <laughs> operate this fucking piece of shit. All right, so we are at the end of our show for the 17... We're at the show for our 1781 Brewery. Uh, we've had a hell of a time over here. This has been a great day. It looks like a thunderstorm is about to roll in. But uh, we also have the uh, food truck over here about to promote his uh, uh, excellent tacos and nachos. Delicious. Wonderful. Hola, me llamo Carlos. Uh, oh, never mind. It's in English, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I just fucked that one up, right? Listen, I'm, I'm going to be real with you. That's I how apologize. I know the food's good. I apologize. That's so, how I know the food's good, man. Yeah, I know, right? So, hi. My name is Sean. Um, come out to 1781 Brewery. We have Martinez Cantina Food Truck. Uh, we're a Latin fusion food truck, so we got food flavors from uh, Mexico all the way down to Brazil. Uh, my wife is a phenomenal cook. She's the one that makes all the goodies over here. No, she's Everything fucking amazing. Everything that we have is homemade. We are veteran-owned yeah. food truck. Oh, yeah. yeah. Better. yeah. Uh, Marines, so everybody else, I don't know, but uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, crayons. Ouch. A hundred percent. We have crayons. Okay. Uh, do you? Fra uh, you fried better. crayons, free for <laughs> Marines. Yes, we do. But uh, we appreciate all this uh, barrel age, barrel age flicks. Thank you for having us over. Thank you for supporting our food truck. Oh yeah, no, and, you're, you're nachos uh, God bless and nachos you guys. are amazing. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, no, you guys Thank are great. You. you guys are great. Your nachos, your freaking uh, tacos are fucking amazing. We we'll put the special sauce for you. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, that sauce. special one. Stu, what are you laughing at? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So that's it. All right. So thank that's, you guys very much. We oh, really thank, thank you. No, thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you so, thank much. you so no. much. Appreciate it. So that is the end of our show for the Beer Fest episode. This was a crazy fun episode out in the humidity and heat, and now a thunderstorm coming in. Humidity. 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 Yes. Humidity. We had such a great time out here. We're they really looking humidity. forward to doing another live show here at the 1781 Brewery, where I think we're planning on doing one sometime in October for a Halloween episode. Are we? Oh, yeah. I'm scared. That's in the plan. I'm scared. I'm thinking about Demon Night. My butthole tingling. Make it happen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yet, guys, that was, the be that was the last of our show. Thank you so much for joining us, and uh, we will see you later. Bye. 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 Hey. I want to thank everyone that came out today to yes. uh, to support yes. us on this show. Yes. And I want to thank the brewery, especially for hosting us, being, letting us host here, and the amazing fucking brew that we all drank. Yeah, the most of us drank was amazing. more than others, you yes. two fucking twat gobblers. Yes. Um, and also, our fucking amazing food truck. Oh, uh, just like Sean j was j just talking about. Yeah. All right. The fucking amazing food. Great people, and thank y'all for uh, enjoying the show and indulging us in our fucking shenanigans. Fuck yeah. No, now, this is hell of a time. Especially, right. go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs>